We're now rocking with the hottest boxing podcast in the land. True Media Boxing Radio with your host, Coach Malachi Williams. True, true, true. Yeah, 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 man. What's up? What's up? What's up, family? This is our boy, Coach Malachi Williams, in the building. We back to Media Boxing Radio. We are back. We are back. We are back. We back up in this bitch, man. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Let me make sure you guys can hear me. Okay, y'all can hear me because I can hear myself. Okay, where, where, where am I? Oh, right here. Where am I? Where am I hearing myself at? Okay, wait a minute. Where am I hearing myself at? I'm hearing myself and don't know where I'm hearing myself at. <laughs> Ain't that the plan? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on, y'all. Hold on, man, man. It, 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 is it the we? The fuck? Oh, man, I'm tripping, dog. It's the... <laughs> oh, man, I'm tripping hard, right, bro. <laughs> Man, don't trip me like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh my God, dog, no. hey, hey, bro, bro, don't trip me hard, bro, hey, we, hey, we, uh, we streaming, we streaming on, um, on, um, on Instagram, right? We streaming on Instagram. So I'm like, damn, I, how come I keep hearing my voice? I keep hearing my voice, right? Damn, I'm hearing my voice and shit. What? Well, am I tripping? So I'm looking on YouTube. The volume is down on YouTube. <laughs> I forgot that the uh the sound was coming from um the sound was coming from uh from um from IG. Man, goddamn, man. I'm just... Hey, hey, man, hey, hey, SP, SP, you already know. The stickiest of the icky. <laughs> you want to smoke with the old boy Rick James? You already know, boy. You already know, boy. God damn. True. Anyways. True. True. Anyways, um, um, uh, can anybody? Let me see. Anyways. All right, y'all can hear me. Y'all can hear me. Y'all can hear me. Anyways, anyway, anyway, let, let's get into the show. Hey, <laughs> not that I say that shit be working. <laughs> true, true, true. Hey, hey, not that I say that shit be working, bro. That shit be working. Hey, that shit be working for good, for real, though, bro. Man, Lord have mercy. Man, that shit. I'm like. Bro, I swear to God, I didn't know where that sound was coming from. I said, damn, what the? <laughs> oh, man, this, this, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. Um, anyway, shout out to School of X, man. I heard the news. I heard the news. I was listening to the Boston Boys. I heard the news, boy. I heard doggone. I heard Keith. I heard Keith, who ain't fought since 1979, Thurman. Uh, Thurman. Thurman. Thurman or Thurman, either way. Um, I heard that Um, I heard he got pulled out. I heard he, he had to pull out. Boy, you heard he had to pull out, and so I saw that coming. Uh, <laughs> I saw that coming. I said that a while ago. I was like, man, that mother, that mother might pull out this shit, man. And Keith Thurman ain't fought in a while, and he know, he know. Listen, don't don't listen to that shit Keith Thurman talking about. And the Keith, uh, 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 what the dude name? Uh, Tim Zoo, Tim Zoo gonna beat the shit out that boy. Nigga ain't fought. He ain't fought since '79. He gonna beat that Tim Zoo gonna beat the shit out that boy. He gonna beat the shit. He was gonna beat the shit out that boy. You know what I mean? Anyways, I also heard 
I also heard that them ticket sales weren't looking good and the projected pay-per-view sales was, was, was shaking like booty meat. True, true, true. I heard that too. You know what I mean? Heard that from a little birdie. You heard that from a little birdie. You know what I mean? They're like, yeah, man, that shit, man. That, that shit, that shit ain't looking good. Niggas ain't buying tickets for that shit. I told you, no more kind of niggas ain't. No, listen, that when the rubber hit the motherfucking road, they they do all that digital game banging on Twitter, on boxing Twitter and YouTube. But when the rubber hit the road, they do not they they do not support. That's why I call them laptop revolutionaries. They talk that revolution shit online, but when they come down to actually boots on the ground, actually physically doing something, they don't do shit. So it is what it is. Shout out to teach in the building. Teach, what's going on, fam? Teach in the building. Shout out to Pauline. Daniel Agnew. What's going on, fam? Shout out to Beck. Beck say, uh, nah, maybe we can get Tim and Bud. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, well, it's going to be Tim. It's going to be Tim after. It's going to be Tim. You know, if Tim and Bud, that'll be that'll be after Tim uh, Tim Zoo fights fights um, in two weeks. He got to fight in two weeks, so. Uh, G5 say, let Bud take no time spot. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. How's how was that gonna happen? <coughs> like if Bud was just a regular average fighter like a front door, nah, normally, normally when a fighter um drops off a card, how it works is they take a fighter that's already on the undercard that's gonna be moved up. That's how that works. You know, you're not gonna go to no superstar fighter like a Canelo or a Crawford or any of those top guys. Two weeks notice and say, hey, we want you to come fill on our card. He's a free agent. And, and he's not even fighting on the card. So you get what I'm saying? You know, I mean, I don't know. I don't unless unless y'all know something about boxing that I don't know. In it, but in boxing, I've been watching boxing 40 years, probably plus, 40 years plus. And um, in a lot of times, like anytime there's a fighter that's on a card that has drops out of the card, the guy that's on the card gets moved up. Put damn near always been like that. Uh, Big Star said um, Fendora is a replacement, I heard. Yeah, he's on the undercard. He's on the undercard. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, Fendora's, Fendora's on the undercard. You get what I'm saying? So that's so that's why he's that's why he's replacing Fendora. That's why he, that's just like right, that's just like the Devin Haney Ryan Garcia fight. If Ryan Garcia was to miraculously pull out of this fight, um Barbosa is gonna be the one that's gonna fill in for him. They're not gonna call a fighter that's with another promotional company or a fighter that's not even with their company. You know what I mean? And say, Hey, we want you to uh, come in for this last minute replacement. That doesn't make sense. They always going to move the guy up that's on the car. That's how it works. Uh, shout out to big stars. Shout out to some in November. OJ, Pauline, Jamie, Jamie from New York. Ross say, can't believe PBC still going, going with pay-per-view for Tim Zoo versus friend versus friend door. I mean, it was gonna flop. It was gonna flop anyways. To be to be honest with you, um, to be honest with you, Rod, that was gonna flop anyways. Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman is nobody. And what do I mean by that? Keith, what do I mean by Keith Thurman is nobody. Keith Thurman has been. He's only fought maybe twice in like four and a half, four and a half, five years. And in this fast paced, um. Uh, boxing scene today because of social media people forget about you real fast they'll forget about you real fast and one time came came up came about in the time where when he when it where where, where his, his contract expired from golden boy well actually they, they, they stole him from golden boy brought him to pbc and he was hot then uh, uh, uh keith thurman is hot was hot like back in the 70s like 1979, the last era, the last era of the 70s pimping, he was hot then. It's a whole new fan base that don't came on boxing now. 99% casuals. So they don't know who this dude is. Then when he come back, the ponytail gone. He got a George Jefferson hairline. He salute like this. You get what I'm saying? And he still, and he talking, and he talking like it's let the good time roll again. Dude, don't nobody know who the fuck you is no more. Your, your, your time don't came and gone. Shout out to Killer Boxing. Shout out to Bruce Gas. Don't nobody know who you is anymore. All these cats were looking like, who, who is that? Who, who that is? And they dance, and they barely know who Tim Zoo is. They know who Tim Zoo is in Australia, but in America, don't nobody really know who he is. So you're going to take a fighter, put him in Vegas, 
from from Australia who don't nobody really know who the hell he is. He's known with hardcore boxing fans, but according to Booger Ray Leonard, the hardcore boxing fans really don't really don't buy pay per views like that. They only buy big events, and there's only two hundred thousand of them that buy. So in order to sell a pay per view, you got to use creative ways, other ways of selling it. This is what Booger Ray Leonard said. Shout out to Bruce Gas to the building. Aguilar Boxing. So if that's the case, well, how do you sell Tim Zoo versus Keith Thurman? And I'm using a pro PBC guy, Booger Ray Leonard. I'm using Booger Ray Leonard as the example, based on what his based on what he say from his own mouth. How do you sell that fight? Don't nobody in America know who Tim Zoo is, and everybody forgot about who the hell Keith Thurman is. And the last time he fought was 79. He don't fought two times since 79. Come on, man. I mean, that, I mean, it don't take no rocket science to figure that out. Them niggas on Boston Twitter ain't buying that shit. That's why I called them lap, Shea Butter Laptop Revolutionaries. They Shea Butter Laptop Revolutionaries for real. They talk revolution. They type revolution. But when they come down to spending that money, guess what? They ain't buying. True, true, true. You get what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Uh, anyway, let's get ready to get into the show. Shout out to uh, Bruce Gass and um, everybody else in the chat. Now, um, the shocking reality of Derrick James and Ryan Garcia's partnership. What's the shocking reality? I got some receipts for you. The videos of Ryan Garcia training have surfaced on social media. Um, you know, probably just bullshitting for the camera. More than likely, that's what he's doing. But that's neither here nor there. Videos of Ryan Garcia's training have surfaced on social media. And fans are starting to notice a pattern. When Ryan was training with the legendary trainer, Joe Goosen, he trained with him twice throughout his professional career, if I'm not mistaken. Goosen made a reference about Ryan in the interview. This is what he said, and I quote, You don't train Ryan Garcia. You collaborate with him. End quote, Joe Goosen. Joe Goosen trained some of the best boxers in the world, including Sugar Shane Mosley, Amir Khan, Michael Nunn, second to none, none Mike, Michael Nunn, Riddick Bowe, Lionel Butler, Lionel Butler, and Diego Corrales. He also developed uh, Ruelas, Ruelas brothers, the, the, uh, the Ruelas brothers. He also um, um, developed those guys as well. And he turned them into uh, world champions, took them from scratch, literally. You know what I mean? And he, worked, and he also worked with Joel Casamayor. He worked with him as well. Like, so, you know, Joe Goosen is, you know, and he's, I think he's a Hall of Famer now. He's a Hall of Famer. He got inducted into the Hall of Fame. You know what I mean? But what does Joe know? What does Joe know? Joe Goosen probably don't know, right? And Reynoso um, also is a damn good trainer. You know, to, you know he's been with Canelo since the beginning. Um, you know, made Oscar Valdez as a champion. He worked, um, as a matter of fact, Ed Reynoso either trained or he manages 35 world champions. Like, for real. You know what I mean? You know, so like he's he I mean, this is his he's he's trained or managed 35 world champions. So and we know they model over there. They very serious over there. No boxing, no life, all of that stuff there. So Ryan Garcia trained with him as well. We saw that turned out, right? Um, so so this so this is another thing. This is another thing too, right? Um, this guy has a track record. That's all I'm saying. This guy has a track record, right? He does. He has a track record. And as I said before, you know, um, you know. There's also recent video footage of Ryan Garcia playing around with Frank Martin. I saw that him playing around with Frank Martin. Every time he released a video, he playing. Now, that doesn't mean he's not seriously training. Again, as I said before, I realize this guy's strolling. He's faking like he's drinking, getting drunk, doing this, doing that. But I can but I can tell you, but I can tell you what I know from what I heard from these streets. Ryan Garcia gonna get Devin Haynes is gonna beat the shit out of Ryan Garcia. I'm gonna tell y'all, I can tell y'all that. And Ryan Garcia just here to cash out. He just trying to get some money. He just trying to get some big money. I know Ryan Garcia fans don't want to hear that, but I'm telling you, that's what's gonna fuck go happen. You got a guy who don't take the sports serious, who bullshitting, and then you got another guy who take the sports serious and he did and and, uh, and uh, he not bullshitting. In a firefight, who am I gonna put money on in the firefight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia? A guy who's known for quitting in the ring, a guy who's known for playing 
and, and, and he's more focused on social media than boxing. Or a guy who takes the sport seriously that's very, very talented. Fundamentally sound. I'm going to take the guy that's fundamentally sound and very talented every day of the week over, over a boxer turned TikToker. True, true, true. And those are the facts. And it's also showed that Ryan Garcia was goofing around in the training camp as well, with, I think with some lady or whatever the case may be. He also was uh, shadow boxing in slow motion in front of Derrick James. I got the video. I'm going to play it. I got the video. I'm going to play it. You get what I'm saying? As well as Ryan Garcia pretending that he was drinking on IG Live, you know, pretty much, you know, that's what he was doing that as well. Like he was drinking, all this other shit he was doing, right? Ryan Garcia, as you guys know, he's trained with the legendary Hall of Famer, Joe Goosen. I think he's trained with him twice, two or three times, right? He's trained with Ed Reynoso, and now he's training with Derrick James. Ed Reynoso said in the past that Ryan Garcia doesn't take training serious. Doesn't take it serious at all. A lot of Ryan Garcia fans can't see that. And he's been in a bunch of setup fights, but now he's, now he's, you know, this is going to be the second step on fight that I see he's going to lose. Not because of who I love or like so much. That ain't got nothing to do with it. I, I can give you a, a logical boxing explanation. It's very, very simple for me. You get what I'm saying? Um, you know, so anyways, Canelo pretty much said the same thing about Ryan Garcia. He doesn't take training seriously. Joe Goosen was the bad guy, according to Ryan Garcia's supporters, after he lost to Tank Davis. But now, but check this out. But Joe Goosen never betrayed Ryan Garcia. Ryan betrayed himself. They were like, yeah, man, you know, somebody in Ryan Kim leaked, leaked to Tank team that he was hurt. And they were saying that it was the Joe Goosen. I knew that was a lie because I interviewed Joe Goosen. I was out there in L.A., interviewed the man. It's on my, it's on my playlist. Then his trainer, then his sparring partner came out and said that hey, that he came out and told Ryan, told Tank that uh, so, you know, that he hurt him to the ribs or whatever the case may be. But they put all that on Joe. You know, there's there's never no accountability from this guy, never, right? Uh, I am of the opinion that Ryan Garcia doesn't stand a snowball chance in hell against Devin Haney, and his team knows it. He's there to get his paycheck. There's no way that you're going to beat an elite fighter. That's training and boxing on an elite level with the type of antics and lack of discipline that Ryan Garcia displays on the regular with Joe Goosen, with Eddie Reynoso, and now with Derek James. You know what I'm saying? That type of guy. Inside and out of the ring, Derek James is starting to realize that Ryan Garcia is untrainable. He's, going, he's realizing that right now. And that he's only there to get the paycheck. Thus, you don't train someone like a Ryan Garcia. You collaborate with them, just like Joe Goosen said. Do you guys feel that Derrick James has come to the realization that he's wasting his time with Ryan Garcia and he's just there to get the check? Or do you feel that he truly believes that he can turn water into wine and make Ryan Garcia a champion on 420 in New York? When he faces off with Devin Haney, we'll see exactly what happens. What do you guys think? Let's give everybody a round of applause. Yeah, 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 yeah. As, as Young Dolph would say, yeah, yeah. R.I.P. to Young Dolph. Uh, and then what it is, man, before we get into the show, you know, y'all know what time it is. We got to go out and say all praises due to the most high, the most exalted, the greatest human being on the planet Earth, Mr. Al Heyman. Y'all make sure y'all, hold on, did I, do I have the, uh, you know what? Oh, I already got a poll. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button for the old boy, too. Y'all make sure I hit the like button for the old boy. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. But shout out to everybody in the chat. We're going to say all praises due to the, Mr. the one and only Mr. Al Heyman. And then once we get over 200 likes, we're going to drop the phone lines. Well, you know, I guess I got to be like everybody else and sing Al Heyman. <laughs> I can quit my job now, baby. Six figures, baby. You feel me? I'm about to but, but, but a name, a name. Do you have a name? Oh, nah, nah. I ain't got no name, you know? Name them names, man. <laughs> they know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. Is, the bro. names need to be but named. They know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. It is what it is, man. Y'all sitting here watching the show, hate watching? Don't want to hit the like button? <laughs> Ooh, I got some good stuff coming down the pipe, boy. Riley, where Riley at? Get him. Look, fuck you. Fuck the plane you flew in on. Fuck them shoes. Fuck the socks with the bell on it. Fuck them cheap-ass cigars. Fuck your yuck mouth teeth. Fuck your hairpiece. Fuck your chocolate. Fuck Guy Ritchie. Fuck Prince William. Fuck the Queen. This is America. My president is black and my Lambo is blue, nigga. Now get the fuck out of my hotel room. And if I see you in the street, I'm slapping the shit out of you. 
Man, I'm trying to tell him. He said, I'll roll it over in this grave after the key pulled out. Boy, I'm trying to tell you, boy. Boy, oh Lord, have mercy. No, I may not be rolling over in this grave. It could it could be, it could be just a part of the plan. All of this could be a part of the plan, fam. He may not be rolling over in this grave. He probably like, man, this shit, this shit shaking like booty meat anyway, man. I don't know, man. Abort mission, abort mission. But uh Keith Thurman say he hurt. So how would he say he hurt? Um, I don't know if we're gonna see an MRI or whatever, but you know. He say he hurt. So it is what it is, man. That's what he say. Uh shout out, shout out to Aunt um, Pito, uh, shout out to Pito Fresca Bar. What's going on, fam? Shiny D, what's going on? Shout out to uh Joe and Fredericks. He said, What up, coach from Jacksonville? Jacksonville, stand up, Duval County. My daddy from my daddy from Duval. True, true, true. Yeah, my daddy from Duval. Yep. Uh shout out. <laughs> Hey, you know the crazy part about it? Hey, I was watching this training video of Ryan Garcia, right? He was doing the booty roll. He wasn't doing the shoulder roll. He was doing the booty roll in, in training. As a matter of fact, let me show it to you guys. Let me show y'all the video. Let me show y'all the video. But before we get into the show, y'all know what the time it is. When it comes to the boxing, we running things. Yep, that's right. I'm running things. I'm running things. Cream corn. That's why they call me that. Smooth. I got more measure for your pleasure. Stick with me, baby. I'll have you farting through silk. <laughs> and let a nigga mess with me. I'll jump on him. All 93 pounds of pure dynamite. Oh! Oh, hey, man, shout out to Moise in the building, man. G5. Yes, sir. Shout out to Ed. Um, Big Sarge, what's going on, fam? It is what it is, man. We finna get ready. To, matter of fact, let me show this video. Ryan, girl, I said, the dude doing the booty roll, man. I said, God damn, he doing that shit for real. And you asking me, hey, listen, in a, in, in a line of fire in the gun fight, in a line of fire in the gun fight, who am I? Who am I gonna uh who am I gonna depend on? <laughs> I'm a, I'm 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 gonna depend on the Instagram model or uh <laughs> nah, you don't want to take over. All you gotta do right there in that little book. He beat it, he beat him three times in the amateurs. He beat him three times in the amateurs. Yeah, yeah, I know. True, true, yeah, I know. true. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. I heard it all before. He beat him in the amateurs. <laughs> that shit. Boy, if I, hey, listen, if I hear somebody say he beat him in the amateurs one more goddamn time, I know something. Boy, if I hear that shit one more time, I like a nigga whooping me in kindergarten. Yeah, dog, he whooped me in kindergarten, dog. He whooped me in kindergarten. You know what I mean? You know he beat him in kindergarten now. Yeah, 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 he fought, he fought kindergarten, I'm telling you now. They was in the playhouse and sandbox. Yeah, 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 he put hands and foot on him. You know, but now, you know, uh, so, so you, just about what he gonna do to him now. Dude, you do know that was like 20 years ago, right? That was about 20 years ago, like, this dude, don't, <laughs> you do know that. Wait a minute, wait, you know, he, we beat him in kindergarten. <laughs> he beat him in the first grade, he knocked him out. He put poles on him. All right, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Oh, hold on, this the wrong one, this ain't the one. This ain't the one right here. Hold on. This ain't the one right here. Let me, let me pull this video up. Ryan Garcia. Oh, there you go right here. This man was really doing the booty roll. Like, God, this nigga doing this shit in practice. Just imagine. Just imagine what he... I mean, he really doing this shit. Let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all this video right here, man. So, let me show y'all this video right here, man. Hold on. Yeah. Is Derek James wasting his time with Ryan Garcia? Because the damn show seemed like it. <laughs> I said it before, I go, you don't really train Ryan Garcia. You, you collaborate with him. <laughs> Good damn it, Chase. <laughs> They're like, man, what the fuck? Welcome to that left foot. Welcome to that left foot counter. He looking he look good right there, though. Question. Is Derrick James wasting his time with Ryan Garcia? Because the damn show seemed like it.
<laughs> I've said it before. I go, you don't really train Ryan Garcia. You you collaborate with him. He going to watch him do the booty roll. He better do the booty roll. Watch. This nigga here, man. <laughs> Look at Derek James. He finna do the there you go. He doing the booty roll. Y'all saw that? Oh man, come on. Bruh. That man finna get cooked, man. True, true, <laughs> true. Hey, hey, the man, the man, hey, the man, the man did the booty roll, man. <laughs> I'm like, damn, he doing this shit in practice. In practice. Anyways, anyways, anyway. Um, but 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 this is the thing that get me right. If Joe Goosen can't train you, if you got Joe Goosen, legendary trainer, Hall of Famer, Joe Goosen saying, hey, you don't train somebody like Ryan Garcia. You just collaborate with him. I've never heard Georgie Benton say that or Angelo Dundee or uh, Customato or uh, uh, Kevin Rooney or like, like, bro, just imagine you got world-class trainers. Eddie Futch, you know, um, Archie Moore, world-class trainers, right? You know, uh, Lou Duva, uh, you got world-class trainers. And they saying that, you know what, man, you don't train nobody like Ryan Garcia, you just collaborate with him. Okay, all right, all right. Anyway, let that sink in. Uh, do, do we got the lights up? Uh, we got over 200 lights. Let's get ready to drop these phone lines, man. Y'all know what time of TI is, man. When I drop the phone lines, y'all get ready to call in the call the old boy, man. Y'all call the old boy. I'm just saying, fam. That, I'm just saying, bro. Like, all right, man. Bro, Derek James probably like, man, this motherfucker, I can't train this motherfucker, man. I can't train this motherfucker at all. You want to talk some shit? Call me. Start some shit, bitch. Sup, fool? You going to talk shit about me, homie? Where you from? Hundreds of niggas is waiting for your motherfucking call, and they all talking shit about you right now. Call the coach at 530-494-9636. We waiting on your bitch ass. Yeah, man. Efren say, he say, coach, what are your thoughts on Keith pulling out of the fight? I mean, he pulled out of the fight. <laughs> I mean, there's, no, there's nothing to think about, really. He pulled out of the fight. You know, I mean, shit, it ain't like, you know, it ain't like motherfucking, uh, Ain't like that shit was going to sell any goddamn way, to be honest with you. He pulled out of the fight. Shit, that shit, that shit, that shit was going to, that shit was going to do quadruple plastic. They got a, they got a million tickets left. Ain't nobody buying that shit. Nobody buying it and they, and they having trouble selling tickets. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. They're going to have to give out a lot of comps. Um, call it, what's your name you call it from? Man, you already know. It's inevitable. It's D-Block, D-Town, D-City, D-Ville, Baltimore. <laughs> D-Block, talk to me. Man, you know what I'm doing right now, Coach? I'm enjoying life. I'm hearing the show. I'm kicking in the backyard. I got another couple of days off. I've been off of work the whole week, the whole week, Coach. Mm -hmm. I'm smoking my green, my Reggie. Throw all my seeds out here in the backyard. Hopefully they grow some weed. Uh, smoking me like my sticks, like you say, Coach. Reggie is nothing but sticks and seeds. I'm telling you, Coach, it's the best thing you got to love. Uh, <laughs> coach. <laughs> Ty Garcia is the man with a plan. It's all. It's all. It's, it's it's all part of the plan, Coach. To make himself look a certain way, trying to think that he ain't ready when we know he's ready, Coach. Like mm -hmm. he said, I'm really ready, but people just don't know yet. And I'm telling you, when that day comes, and you know, I got nothing but respect for Bill Haney, and, and of course, you know, uh, we talking about Devin the Dream Haney, one of the ones that I always said was gonna be. A uh, bobblehead, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the one that walked in stilettos. You know, Baltimore's finest, King Davis. We know that King Ryan's going to go in that ring, and it's going to be a great fight, Coach, and it's going to be a competitive fight. I'm telling you right now, like I always say, Coach, ain't the Reggie hitting on me. It ain't this uh, good-ass orange juice I'm drinking right now, Coach. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I see the future, and I'm seeing Ryan Garcia is going to knock somebody out. Could it be Devin Haney? Or it could be the rematch with Tank Davis. I don't know. But I know it's going to be a great fight. What you got to say with that? Yeah, I don't think Ryan Garcia is going to beat any elite fighter. Um, you know, he's not going to beat any of the elite guys. 
Um, I have I have the fight. I have Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia fight being competitive <laughs> for the first six rounds. I think after six, after six, Devin Haney is going to pull away with it, and you might see Ryan Garcia quit in this fight, um, or whatever. But he's gonna he's gonna get he's gonna get he's gonna get his head boxed off so after the sixth round. After the sixth round, it's gonna be it's gonna be all downhill for him. That, that's the way I see it. I, I can see where you're coming with that, Coach. And, and, and I gotta, I gotta say something else because we know that Keith Thurman, one time Florida's main man, and you already know where he's from, Jacksonville. It looks like it's time, it's time to retire. And I'm gonna let it go like this: BBC, you fuck, D Block, D Damn, D D Block, fuck D Block, Sorry, D Block. What's your name? Where you call it from? Maintain Queens, New York. Maintain Queens. Peace, coach. Yeah. Um, no, nah, I totally agree with you. Um, this is I look at I look at, at Ryan. He's just a walking marketing wagon. That's that's all he's doing. He's getting a bunch of ad revenue on the side, and he's continuing that train. I don't think he's taking this seriously. Even if behind closed doors, if, you know, he's selling us the dream, like, yo, this is all promotion. I'm trolling y'all. Yeah. In order for you to be doing that, it still takes time. You dig what I'm saying, Coach? For you to just come on and do a video every single day, do a story every single day, and try to troll or do whatever, that still takes away from your focus from training. So no matter what, he can't be 100% invested. And you know following the sport as long as you have, Coach, if you're not fully invested, you're going to get hurt. What say you? Yeah, um, I totally agree with that. But my, my, thing, my, thing is, my thing is there are other ways to sell this fight other than what he's doing. And I'm like, okay, like, what's your point? You're doing all of these different things, the antics or whatever. What is your point? Is your if your well, what is your aim? If your goal is to get Devin Haney to think that you're not training, so he don't train, that's not working. So, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, like, what is what? Like, what's 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 the purpose of what's the purpose of doing all of this? You know, so it is. Yeah, no, this, that, this that makes ain't gonna sense. work. The dude, the Devin Haney coming to fight. I can damn near guarantee you that. Yeah, that's why he's gonna get his ass washed up. I mean, I just can't. You when I think of when I think of him, it reminds me a little bit of Victor Ortiz. Like he's got a, he's a tremendous talent. Yeah. Um. Inside, and I know Victor wasn't a big social media guy, things like that. But still, he had a lot of antics and things like that. And he was just a waste of talent at the end of the day. So that's all I really gotta say, Coach. I agree with you 100. percent I think he's gonna get his ass beat. Uh, we'll be competitive for maybe the first third of the fight, but after that, it, 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 it's over. I right, salute, fam. Hey, shout out to maintain Queens. Appreciate up. you. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean. That's that's the way I see it, fam. I think um, I, and, and I'm gonna tell I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. I think Devin Haney is gonna be a lot more conditioned than than uh, Ryan Garcia. I think Devin Haney's conditioning is gonna be on point. That's what I think. I think uh, that's I think his, his conditioning is gonna really really be on point for this fight. Um, but again, as it, as it relates, I know a lot of people talking about Keith Thurman and uh, that fight right there. Well, that like there of Keith Thurman sometime. Like, you know, it is what it is. And the crazy part about it, this fight is still going to be seventy four ninety nine. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. You know what I mean? Good luck. Like, really, really, really good luck. Um, Carla, what's your name? you calling from? What's good, because it's Hashirama from PG County, Maryland. Hashirama from PG County. Talk to me. Yeah, first things first. Keith Thurman, he needs to just hang up the gloves, get a, uh, get a job at the Walmart. He done. That's it. Solo for him. Um... His own doing, if you ask me, being away, uh, being away from the sport for so long and, you know, not taking fights. Anyway, there's that. And uh, Ryan Garcia, I hate that kid so fucking much. So if you have no idea, I really hate him. Everything about him. I don't think he's good. I think he got this far to scare off of uh, scare off of advertisement. I think they, I think Devin Hayes going to beat the shit out of him. I hope he does, at least. And uh, with that being said, um, this whole... I don't understand it because he comes out like every other day saying, hey, guys, I'm, I'm focusing, you know, like this is going to be like my last post. I'm locking into the fight. And two days later, he comes out with another conspiracy theory going off on Twitter and like uh, Instagram and all that. So I can't stand this kid. I can't wait for him to get the fuck out of boxing. I'm just ready for it. What are your thoughts on him? Um, I mean, I don't I don't I don't hate Ryan Garcia. I, I like him. I just look at him for what he really is. Um, He's popular. Social media guy. As the looks, Tenderoni Magnet. I he's a good fighter. I don't look at him as no elite fighter because I haven't seen him any elite fighters that he's beaten. So um he lost against one elite fighter. 
i.e. it wasn't an ideal situation, but it, it, he didn't. He signed the contract, so I ain't crying for him about that. He made a lot of money on that fight. Right. Now he's fighting another elite fighter, and I just think he's going to get out class. I mean, Ryan Garcia is a joke at this point. Uh, you got to remember, he's trained with Joe Goosen two or three times. And Joe Goosen said, mm -hmm. when you have Joe Goosen say, hey, you don't train someone like a Ryan Garcia. You just collaborate right. with him. And then he's over there with Eddie Reynoso. Eddie Reynoso and Canelo are like, man, this boy bringing the selfie stick to the gym. You know, he's showing up late. <laughs> he, you know, he's he's going IG live while he's punching the, the yeah, speed bag. Well, you know what I mean? They're like, man, Eddie Reynoso, like, man, we ain't got time for this shit. We 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 know boxing no life. <laughs> now he's over there with Derrick James doing the same shit he was doing with Joe Goosen and Eddie Reynoso. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> Right, right, yeah. He, I, I don't know, man. Like, uh, Derek James' uh, trainers, uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, Derek James' uh, fighters have been taking out lately. Mm -hmm. This might be the worst one yet to come. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm hoping it is. We'll salute to you, Coach. All right, salute, fam. <laughs> Urban Mack. Urban Mike say Ryan, Ryan looks strong right now. We're going to find out how strong he is. We're going to find out how strong he is April the 20th. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Irvin, we're going to find out how strong he is April the 20th. You can believe that. You get what I'm saying? Shit, it, you know, a whole lot of shit, a whole lot of shit impress a motherfucker in the gym. They be showing them little photos, right? Yeah, that boy will look. I'll call him, hold on. Yeah, man, that motherfucker looks strong, dog. Oh, no. He, oh, he looks strong. I'm like, all right, okay, all right. we we, we going to find out how strong he is April the 20th. You get what I'm saying? We're going to find out what that condition is like April the 20th. We're going to find out. We're going to find out what his conditioning is like right now, April the 20th. We're going to find out. That, 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 that's, that's where he got to show me where he's strong at. Um, call him, what's your name? you call him from? Jamie from New York. Jamie from New York. Talk to me. Hey, Coach. You know, Goosen, Goosen's been around a long time, man. Yeah. And he, you know, he's a, he's, a, uh, he's a great trainer. You know, he's a solid dude. I never heard anything negative about the guy. But, you know, he's no longer working with Ryan. So, what the hell is he going to learn from Derrick James, bro? I'm with you, Cole. Derrick James, for me, he's seriously wasting his time, bro. You see him sitting on the floor, scratching his head. He's not giving out instructions. Every time I see a video, he's not talking. You saw Ryan just, I don't know, entertaining. I don't know. It's like a circus. He's just looking at the camera doing stupid shit, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, he's definitely losing, uh, wasting his time, Cole. Um I, I don't. I don't know. I don't give him a chance against uh, Devin Haney. To be honest with you, I got Devin Haney uh, watching him. All yeah. right, uh, it's going to be a decision. And coach, I got a question for you, real quick, man. We have another, um, and I'm talking about Fundura. All right, against Tim uh, Zhu. This is another PBC fighter that's about to get a championship fight. It's going to be a title fight, I hear. Yeah, okay? Tim, Tim Zhu's not and, a PBC um, fighter. I, he just he just fights on their cards. No, Fundura is not Fundura. Oh yeah, Fundura. Yeah. 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 But what, 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 the, the question for you is this, coach. You know how um, Roly Romero got a got a title shout out to getting knocked out, knocked out. Yeah, by Tank. So yeah. same thing here, man. Last time I saw Fundura, he was KO, bro, and he's getting a championship fight. I mean, uh, what's up with that? Nah, it, it, the, that, the, the fight the fight is at a one fifty five pound catchweight. So, um, oh, but, it's not oh, for I, a thought, title. I thought they changed it. Oh, okay. All right, but either way, man. Getting, hey, man, listen. It, at the end of the day, it's a fight, so. It is what it is, man. But um, if so, they nah, nah, um, nah, if they James. if they did change it, I don't know. But remember, remember, I, I, I think they did. I, I read that somewhere, coach. But you probably you know more than me, so I, I don't know, brother. Wow. But I, I I think it's gonna be a title shot now. Against Thurman, it wasn't, but it, it's gonna be now, supposedly. Oh, so, and, so uh, I mean, we'll find we'll, we'll find coach. out. I mean, all that, all that's happening very very yes. fast, so we'll find out. True, true, true. And Derek James, man, seriously, man, I see this guy on the floor scratching his head, bro. Like he has. Nothing to say to Ryan. Like he's just looking like he's bored, man. He has to go. He needs to drop that boy. But that's my call, coach. All right, salute, York. I'm out. I mean, it should. Now that I think about it, it should be for a title because because Fundora fights at 154 and Tim Zhu fights at 154. So it should be for it should be for the title. If it is, then Fundora 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 gonna get knocked out. I can. I could damn near yeah, like I like if it's, it's two fights, it's two fights I'm sure about. Tim Zhu versus Keith Thurman. I won't even bet an eye on that. Tim Zhu versus Fundora. He gonna get ate up with body punches and uppercuts. Tell you that right now. Stylistically, 
uh, Tim Zoo style is all wrong for Fendor. Fendor ass gonna get gonna get put to sleep. I'll call her. Hold on. And another fight I'm sure about is Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. Re very sure about that. Uh, I, I, listen, I ain't, I I don't even have to think about that fight. That that those, those are too easy ones. That that just that, that's like a layup. That's like giving uh, R.I.P. to Kobe Bryant. That's like giving uh, Kobe Bryant a layup. Um, a layup with one point with one point one seconds left on the other end of the rim by himself, <laughs> and they down they down by one. He they, they need a bucket to win the game. That that's 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 too easy. Um, caller, what's your name? You caller from? What up, coach? This is Rod from LA. Rod from LA, talk to me. Listen, coach, man, I gotta we gotta send prayers for uh, Derek James, coach. I mean, the brother, he's still dealing with that ass whooping that uh, Bud gets his fence. Uh, he has to deal with Ryan's bullshit, and he has to deal with Ryan getting his ass beat by Devin. Then he's going to have to deal with Tank spanking uh, uh, Frank Martin. So I feel bad for the brother, man. He's going to go through it this year, but uh, we hope that uh, Derek James is good spirits, and uh, we wish him the best of luck, Coach. And as far as this... Uh, uh, Keith Thurman, man, man, coach, I am not surprised. Uh, you know, Keith has just been inactive, yeah. and this is a result of that, man. And uh, I, coach, do you think Keith should even try to come back? Because I mean, I, I think at this point, at this point, coach, like I don't think people really want to check on Keith like that. What do you man, think, coach? Keith, Keith, Keith might as well just be a commentator, man. Like his boxing career, yeah, in my eyes, yeah. is over with. That's just my eyes. Like he might as well just be a boxing commentator. He's a good talker. No, ain't nobody check up him to fight, man. Every time. Ain't nobody checking for the dude to fight. Far as I'm concerned, Keith Thurman been retired. Um, boxing is definitely gonna go on without him because no boxing goes on without anybody. It doesn't matter who it is. No one fighter is bigger than the sport. And like literally, his his best days, his best days was four or five years gone. Going to be honest with you, he over with. Yeah, I think so too. And as far as Pandora, man, I, man, I like the guy, but he's getting knocked the fuck out. Yeah, he and that's my call, coach. Have a good one. I saw the Rock LA. Yeah, he definitely getting knocked out. I can tell y'all that right now. Fundora got two chances to beat Tim Zoo. And y'all, and y'all, y'all, y'all can quote me on this. I'll call it, hold on. Fundora have two chances to beat Tim Zoo. Slim and none. And Slim just got kidnapped and thrown in the trunk with Booger Ray. True, true, true. Call it, what's your name? You call it from? What up, coach? It's Drew. Drew, talk to me, fam. <laughs> Coach, it gets better and better. I just tagged you. Lance Puckmeyer is reporting that that sleazy slime ball, Mauricio Suleiman, is now trying to put the vacant 154 WBC belt, so it's going to be a unification. <laughs> oh, so this is going to be a unification match? Um, Oh, the it, WBC it's has been. Be a unification the, match. Yeah, to spice, it up a, to spice it up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> no, Mauricio need that money, man. He wants that money. Yeah. So now yeah. not only did Fedora get knocked out his last fight, he's in the unification, coach. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, not only that, he's in the unification, but not only that, I mean, Tim Zoo, Tim Zoo will be the unified champ. You know, he's going to be the unified champ if that's you the know, case. Oh, yeah, he's going to be the yeah, unified yeah. champ, coach. Coach, this is a hell of a rollout for Amazon Prime, coach. Jeff Bezos is uh, pulling out all the stops, baby. This is going to be a quadruple platinum. It's going to do a million buys, coach. And PBC, the, the rumors that they ain't got no money, coach, it, it's fake. It's fake news, coach. You and Rick Glazer have been wrong, coach. You've been wrong spreading these lies and this propaganda, coach. And maybe you need to start smoking that Reggie to get a clear mind like D-Block. What, what do you think about that, coach? Man, shit, you know, I, I, can't, I can't even relate. I can't even spell Reggie when it comes to weed. <laughs> Drew, <laughs> Drew, I can't. Get out here in California, coach. We don't do that out here. No, oh, Reggie, no, boy, no. Hey, boy, no. Nah, L.A., boy, L.A., boy, L.A. got that gas, boy. I already know, boy. <laughs> hey, shit, all all our shit come from L.A. Coach, from Cali. Coach, you from a marketing. I love what he said. I'm from a marketing background. You see the play with Ryan Garcia, coach. He, it's just, he, he got the whole red pill. He got the magnet conspiracy, deep state people into him. It was, it's a genius move, even though yeah. he gets his ass kicked. Yeah, but he got to make his money. Yeah. But I'm, I'm laughing, coach. Coach, this is just karma. Look at how bad this PVC card is, coach. This is like just poetic justice. Um, I know. I mean, it's 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 not a it's um it's not a bad card. I, I like the card. It's just that it's not a seventy four ninety nine card. 
No, no, it's not a pay-per-view yeah, card. Yeah, it's not, not a pay-per-view at, at all. Yeah, I like the card. It's just, it's not a pay-per-view fight. Like, you don't put, like, you heard it. You heard, you, like, you do a fight like this injustice by putting it on pay-per-view. Because it already was a okay. no-sale in America. Not not Australia, but in America with Tim Zhu, an unknown fighter. But then you bring back 1979 uh, Keith Thurman as a headliner. And you, then, don't even, yeah. you don't even bring back, yeah, you bring Keith, Keith Thurman with no ponytail. You bring out a uh, receding hairline, Keith Thurman. It is what it is. But shout out to Drew, man. L.A., man. Salute, fam. All right, coach. Yeah, yeah man, like... Uh, shout out to Leonardo, man. He said, Fendora and Tim Zoo for the belt. No bud, damn. I mean, you're not going to be able to pull, pull a, 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 somebody like a bud on the card like that. A free agent. You know what I mean? What you going to pay him? <laughs> like, yeah, y'all, y'all, like, y'all, like, y'all think, y'all, I don't know what y'all be thinking, man. Y'all think that, okay, all right, we just going to call this guy as a free agent. That's a big name in the sport, making big money. We just gonna call him a two week notice and say, "Huh, we gonna throw you in here and you fight. You you uh, you, you be a replacement." Like <laughs> that shit don't work that way, man. That shit don't work that way, bro. <laughs> uh, call hold on. That shit don't work that way, fam. Uh, shout out to Andy Payne. He said King Ryan crossing crossing his feet, shadow boxing. Yeah, man, his, his ass in trouble, bro. Like literally. Uh, shout out to your boy Mambo. Hey. Okay. Dropping that half on, bam, dub on your boy. He said, "You, he said, what did you, what did you, what you say, fam?" He said, "You know how you think you met the love of your life, then someone else comes along and changes your mind." That's Ryan Garcia. He said, "That's Ryan thinking he loved boxing, but the social media fame changed his mind." I mean, I mean, again, I mean, he gonna get his money. He gonna get his money and stuff like that. You know, I, I, he gonna get his money and stuff like that. But he, Ryan Garcia is not an elite fighter. He's a good fighter. But he's not an elite fighter, bro. There's a platform stage People primping, pimping Sharp as razor blades Carla, what's your name? Where you calling from? How you doing, Coach? This is Adolfo from Sacktown. Adolfo from Sacktown. Talk to me. Yeah, I'm curious about Derek James. I mean, does he even give a damn anymore about who he trains at this point? Because it seems like he's now just training whoever just to get a just to get the bat, that bag of money, man. You know, Spence's career is down the tubes. Jamel Charlo is pretty much non-existent. And with Ryan Garcia just trying to milk this fight with whatever problems he has, I mean, I'm just curious. Does he even care at all now? I'm talking about Derek James? Yeah. Well, I mean, as, I think he cares. I mean, as a trainer, as a trainer, you know, you know that's how, he, that's how he makes his money. He trains, and I, I think he has a job also. He trains, so, I mean, as a trainer, you know, you want to see can you make this guy. The challenge is, can I take a guy that's never been a champion before um, since he's been a pro, and, and make this guy a champion. Put together the right game plan, see can I get him focused and, and, and locked in on the task at hand. I think what Derrick James is realizing is you can't do that with Ryan Garcia. Joe Goosen said it best. You don't train Ryan Garcia, you collaborate with him. How in the hell are you going to win anything? Now, he'll beat one of them um, C-class fighters that he's been fighting. He'll beat those guys, C-class, maybe B-minus fighters. But he, he's not going to, you know, you don't train a Ryan Garcia, you collaborate with him. You get what I mean? So it is what that it is. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, hopefully it goes well for him and with the Frank Martin versus Tank fight. Anyway, that's my call, Coach. All right, salute, fam. Uh, shout out to G5. G5 in the building, man. Jason Paulo of Christ. Hey, what did he say? He say, uh, you managed the, the incoming train wreck. Bro, I, listen. Hey, check this out. Um, um, G, hold on. Was that G5? Shout out to... Uh, I mean, somebody, just somebody. I just read somebody chat. Anyways, yeah, I mean, just, I mean, just imagine. The dude here say the Ryan haters never rest. <laughs> uh, I mean, what am I saying? That's hey, fam. I mean, if you want to call the show, call the show, call the show, and just explain to me, just explain to me, uh, what you know, what what am I hating on? If you feel that I'm hating, call, call, just call them, and explain to me what I'm hating on. Like this, like th this gonna be too easy. This gonna be too easy for me to defend. Phone lines open, man. 530-494-9636. 530-494-9636. And so and someone the brother the brother say that the Ryan hate doesn't never stop. If you feel like I'm hating, brother, just call the show and, and prove and prove to me that I'm hating. And I'ma show and I'ma show you I'm not. Cause I'm coming, everything I'm coming with is receipts, track record, history. You know, I got all that. Um call what's your name you call it from? Uh, coach, it's D-Block two times. D-Block two times, talk to me. Uh, coach, you got to remember. And we, you know, I know you remember, Coach. 
But just, just remembering this, do you remember when Fandora and Tizu were both coming up and they were saying that uh, Fandora was a threat to uh, Charlo and Tizu was also the threat? They were young, upcoming fighters. And now we're about to see that fight. You know, I know that Fandora didn't look so good in this fight when he got knocked out. I knew that there were flaws in this. But the guy can fight. He got that Mex- I think he's Mexican too, coach. He got that Mexican pedigree. He want to go in there and fight. So I think it's going to be a great fight. Now, will I buy it? No. Now, will I steal it? Yes. I'm okay with saying that. Because I, I know that this isn't worth no 80 bucks. This is a free first Amazon. It could be an Amazon Prime fight for free. And eat your popcorn kind of ready type of fight to get you introduced to the BBC limelight. Uh, Coach, do you not have confidence in Pandora? Is that what it is? Or is it you just going by, by what you just saw when he got knocked out? No, I um I have confidence with Fandora, but I don't have confidence with him with him um against Tim Zoo from a stylistic standpoint. Like again, I have a boxing like I'm I'm giving I'm breaking it down from a boxing standpoint. Stylistically, Fandora is a inside is a mid to close range fighter. He likes to fight on the inside. He negates his he, he negates his arm reach with his jabs. Um, he doesn't know how to fight on the outside. He has to get in on the inside. Well, if you know anything about Tim Zhu, Tim Zhu is a pressure fighter, and he wants to get on the inside, mid the inside range, where he can rip off vicious body shots, uppercuts, hooks from different angles. This is what he wants. So uh, from a front door standpoint, he's a front foot dominant fighter, and he's hitting, meeting a hard puncher like a Tim Zhu who likes to fight on the front foot, and he's a pressure fighter. It's a recipe for disaster. Stylistically, Tim Zhu's style is all wrong for him. Okay, I, I can see where you come. But, 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 Coach, you think this should be on free, free prime, like the first? I mean, you think they should just change the whole thing and just say, we got to see this for free? You think that's okay with that? Um, You said we got to get it for free. What do you mean? You're talking about uh, uh, it's on pay-per-view, I think. Yeah, instead of pay-per-view, you think they should, they should switch it, knowing that Keith Thurman was going to be the one bringing in the draw? Well, I mean... <laughs> They, they're gonna do they're gonna do whatever whatever they feel like they need to do i mean they're not gonna listen to me and you so to be fair i think it's, it's a pay-per-view fight um that's that's what it is okay uh, i'm gonna let it go like this uh at the end of the day i'm gonna go give me a fire stick on amazon and see the amazon uh pay-per-view event for free so uh, i want to thank amazon for doing that for me and, and coach i'm gonna let it go like this every trainer has been there with some old school fighters and they know they ain't got it no more we know that they're there for the payday Ryan Garcia is there for the real fight. He's there for it. He's there with it. People might not believe him because of what they've seen and what they believe in what happened with Tank Davis. We know what happened in that fight, Coach. We know what Tank Davis, Tank Davis has done to my fighter, my youngin, King Ryan Garcia. And believe me, redemption is coming for Mr. King Ryan Garcia, and he's going to show everybody that he's real. D-Block, D-Camp, D-C, D-Camp, D-C, D-C, D-C. Talk to more, Sandra. Sorry to D-Block, man. Let's read the super chats. He say, um, he say, he's what you say, fam. He, uh, shout out to your boy Mambo. Hey, okay. Dropping that half for bam, dub on your boy. Oh, never mind. I read that before. I already read that one. Shout out to Damian Bennett. Hey, okay. Dropping that half for bam, dub on your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super chat received. This is easy. Playtime's over, boy. boy. This is easy. Uh, Damian Bennett say. I'll call it, hold on. He said King Rye was pegged. They for a king. How can you say he's not elite? Um, the question I have for you, Damien, is pegged by whom? If 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 Ryan Garcia was pegged, uh, was pegged a four king, pegged by whom? That's the question I have. Whoever pegged Ryan King, Ryan Garcia is one of the four kings. They know what the fuck they was talking about. I think that's obvious. That's one. And then two, um, how do you peg somebody, one of the four kings? Like, what have they shown you from a boxing standpoint to, to show you that to show you that um, he's a four king? Who the who the hell did he fight to be considered a four king? You could look at you could look at um uh, b- before before um uh, Ray Leonard, H- H- Duran, Hearns, Hagler was pegged to four king. Look at the track record and look at their resumes and look at look at the things that they did in the sport of boxing. In order to, um, uh, when they was pegged the four kings. Now look at Ryan Garcia. Tell me something that he did outside of TikTok and Instagram that made him a four king. So whoever pegged him the four king clearly didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. True, true, true. Carla, what's your name? You call it from? 
Y'all like E-Money injured, what's up? You a little criminal ass bitch. Bro, this dude here, man. All right, man. Hey, listen, if you're going to troll, if you're going to troll E-Money, you come troll me with a better phone, dog. 507-291-2454. Yeah, troll me with a better phone, dog. That, that shit right there, that shit sounded crazy, dog. You're going to troll, if you're going to troll me, uh, E-Money, troll me with a better phone, fam. Come back, come back, call back, call back. I don't call it what you name you call it from. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Can you hear me? Um, I can hear you now. What's your name? Where you calling from? Okay, great. Oh yeah, all right, from Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California. What's your name? Art, Art from Los Angeles, California. Okay, Art, talk to me. Yeah, you know what I think is uh, there's a lot of question marks, of course, like what's really going on with Ryan Garcia, and so. It's like, uh, what is the truth about Ryan Garcia? You know, there's a lot of talk about, you know, he's trying to sell the fight, but I just don't think that's the way he sell it. I think uh, there is, um, you know, every time that he speaks, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, when he was in the press conference, David Haney said he, he, he smells like alcohol. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, if I'm not mistaken, also at the press conference for the Gervonta Davis, Gervonta Davis says, that he was drinking, smelled like alcohol. So the question is, why is he drinking alcohol, number one? And, you know, what's, what's making him want to drink? And so what he needs is someone like a, a, a coach, you know, uh, like a, a drug addiction coach. You know, it's like, what's the root? Let's get down to the root. What's the pressure? Are you having money problems? That's another thing that we heard, that he owes us this kind of money. Now, is that a rumor or is that the truth? Um, you know, he's breaking up with his baby mama or he, actually his wife. So that's another issue. So I remember, you know, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in like late 40. So when I was in my mid 20, I had all that going on and I was going through challenges. So not only now, he has to have a, a, a mindset coach. Hey, this is how you think. This is how we got to look at things. And last thing I want to say is, you know, the black mama. Uh, he was going through issues, you know, they were accusing him of some negative things. Uh, uh, oh, no, the black mom, uh, it's actually Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant. Oh. They were accusing him of, of uh, some stuff that he did to some women. And so he was going back and forth to Colorado. He had that issue. What I'm saying is he needs to do a mama mentality. Like, where, like, yeah, I got all these issues, but I'm going to set them aside right now. And, and the best thing to do is have an alter ego. Like, uh, you know, when, when Kobe Bryant was going through all of that, he had that alter ego. Hey, I ain't Black Bamba. I'm not Kobe Bryant right now. Kobe Bryant has problems, but my mom is just a killer. So I got to compare my life who I am right now, who I got to be, who I got to be. Uh, last thing, Mike Tyson. He was not Mike Tyson. He was already Mike Tyson. So I think he needs to have some mental support people for people that love him and say, hey, let's, let's get you right mentally. Get that mind back. Get that mindset right. All right, salute. Right. Hey, shout, right. out, shout out to Art, man. Your time off, fam. Salute, fam. Yeah, man. But y'all hear that Jeopardy? When that Jeopardy music come on, yeah, you got to wrap it up, dog. You got to wrap it up and that Jeopardy come on, fam. Um, Shout out to Urban Max. Salute to you, fam. Killing the price in the building. Again, you know, um, the brother was talking about the, the black mama, the mama mentality. I mean, that ain't who Ryan Garcia is. You know, he's there ain't, nothing, ain't nothing mumble about him, and he damn so ain't black. So, I mean, he just, he can forget it. He doesn't have that mentality. That's just not that's just not who he who he is. You know what I mean? Uh, this guy say why why D Block get to talk so long? Did you not hear me put the Jeopardy music on D Block? I put the Jeopardy music on D Block too. Shit, when they go to talking too long, it's time to you got to wrap that shit up, man. You know what I mean? Shit. D block, D block, get the Jeopardy music. Shit, I ain't showing no favoritism. <laughs> hey, uh, J Gabe say uh, Roger. He said Roger Mayweather, the real black mamba. Yeah, yeah, that that. But that's why when he said Roger Mayweather, when he said Roger Mayweather, uh, when he said Roger May Roger Mayweather, that's what I said. I don't you know when he said the black mamba. I said Roger Mayweather because Roger Mayweather is the black mamba. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Kobe, yeah, Kobe took his, you know, got his name for Roger Mayweather. You know, um. R.I.P. R.I.P. to the legend, man. Uh, Kobe. R.I.P. to both legends, man. Roger Mayweather and Kobe Bryant, man. R.I.P. to both legends, man. Um, call it what's your name? Where you call it from? The villain, Coach Southside Minneapolis. The villain, talk to me. Uh, that Jeopardy music hit different, Coach. <laughs> um, first, let me say before I forget, Canelo, Viva Los, Viva La Mexico ass, 
Jive ass. He, he had made a comment uh, last week about the um, Bud ain't fought nobody. Only had one good fight. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm saying to myself, when you look at Bud's 40 fights versus Canelo's first 40 fights, there's no comparison. Munguia's first 40 fights compared to Bud's first 40 fights, no comparison. Put Canelo and Munguia's 40 fights together, they 80 fights still don't compare to Bud's goddamn first 40 fights. Bud, a goddamn Hall of Famer already. Before Canelo, Canelo wasn't no motherfucking Hall of Famer when this goddamn before 43 fights. But fuck all that dope, coach. I just wanted to get that up off my head. Uh, with respect to Derek James, um, he needs to holler at his boy Booger Ray about that plethora of good young talent that he got stashed over there in that motherfucking stable. Um, Tim Zhu and um, Thurman, um, uh, I always felt like Roley and goddamn uh, Pitbull should have been at the top of the ticket any motherfucking way. That's all I had, Coach. I just wanted to get that out there. Love. All right, shout out to the villain, man. Minneapolis, stand up, south side. Dog go. Again, bro, like it's 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 hard. It's hard, bro. It's hard, man. Too. You, know, you got to understand, bro. I, I grew up watching Hagglers and uh, Roberto Duran, Sugar Ray Leonard's. The, the little bit I remember of Salvador Sanchez, the great Azuma Nelson, you know, uh, David Boy Moore, you know, Sugar Ray, you know, of course, you know, all of Hearns, you know, doggone um, uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, you know, uh, uh, Melchick Taylor, Pernell Whitaker, you know, like I, you know, I came up in the era where both of them got it down. Like, like they got, uh, you know, uh, Michael Spinks, you know, they, I mean, they, they got it down. I came up there where they got it down and, you know, so it take a whole lot it take a whole lot to impress me. This new shit I told you, this shit is more WWE than anything now. It's already, you know, not all the boxing. You know what? Let me take that back. It's 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 certain it's certain American fighters. I just say that it's certain American. You know what really make it WWE though? Not only just certain fighters, but um, the Saints and the bodies. The Saints and the bodies have be, have become such a joke, like. The Saints and the Bodies has to be more like a racketeering organization at this point. Like it just y'all, like y'all just collect the money for what? You know what I mean? Y'all collect the money for what? Like what are the Saints and the Bodies there for? As you guys so eloquently say, belts don't mean nothing. Legacy don't mean nothing. So if belts don't mean nothing, legacy don't mean nothing. And I would take your argument. Don't talk to me about who a fighter need to fight for his legacy. When he need to fight, did this dude for his legacy? Carl, hold on. When you the same nigga that was saying legacy don't mean nothing, best don't mean nothing. Well, Floyd say that you can't you can't feed your kids with legacy. That what Floyd say. Oh, oh, you a flomo. I already know you a flomo. So, so I'm like I'm gonna take all your talking points and throw it right back at you. You get what I'm saying? That's what I'm gonna do. Carlo, what's your name? You call it from? Leo H Town, coach. Leo H Town, talk to me. Man, all I hear is I hate Ryan. I hate Ryan. But all they do is talking about Ryan. Man, I'm just worried about 420. If he gets there, he fights. If not, oh well. You know, hell, if you really hate the kids, stop talking about the goddamn kids. Man, oh, what well, I'm really disappointed what, 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 what are they hating on him about? <laughs> well, you know, you know, I hate the couple of callers. I hate Ryan. I hate him. He's on Instagram. He's a model, whatever. But, hey, Coach, what I'm really, really disappointed about is, man, I, I know Bud. Training Bud in shape, man. Why couldn't we get this Tim Zoo versus Bud going on? Well, man, you know, you know, that, I think, that, you know what I think you know. I think you need to do. I think you need to call Al Heyman and ask Al Heyman that question. Yeah, that's that. That's my point, man. Everybody wants to always be back in the PVC, but they don't ever give us the fights we want, man. That's just the, the PVC has brainwashed the fans to taking showcase fights as loaded cards. It's like there ain't no loaded card if you got Benavides fighting a uh uh twenty eighty fight where eighty percent of the chance of him winning and twenty percent of the opponent winning. You know, that that ain't no loaded card. It's a showcase because your star's supposed to win. The, the PBC has tricked boxing fans to take showcases as as fifty fifty fights, man. That's that's not the way it works, man. It's, we need to get some competitive fights out there. Hell just, I, I don't see it, Coach. I don't see we how got, they get so much support in. We, 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 have, we have competitive fights. I mean, um, it, it's been a lot of competitive fights going on. Are you talking about... Well, go ahead. I'm talking about this, 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 this card in particular we got going on. 
You it's, know? it's a good call. But, uh, how, it's, it's a good call. But I the most like competitive it. fight is it, the most competitive fight is the opening bout between Ryu and uh, and and and, uh, and uh, De Los Santos or whatever. I mean, we'll find out how competitive you know? it is um, on March the thirtieth. We'll find out. I mean, I know what you're saying on paper, yeah. what, what you envision as being a competitive fight, but you know, I mean, I, because, I, I, I like the card. I think it's a good card. I just don't think it's a pay per view card. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's not a, like people are saying it's stacked. It's not stacked. That's their I opinion. Mean, you know, that's their opinion. To me, it's if, just, if it's just a showcase if, card. If, if they, if they don't, if, if they, if other people think this card is stacked, and you think it, and, and you think it's not stacked, then that's just a matter of a, that's just a difference of opinion. That's all it is. And I don't think Pandora is going to do anything. The boy don't know how to use a jab. He don't know how to use his link. He tries to fight it inside. He squats down and gets down to the point of his height to 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 engage. Don't get stopped, man. It's, 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 that's bullshit. All right, anyway, shout out to Neil from Sound. I'll salute to you, fam. I'm out. Yeah, you know, I mean, people people feel the way they feel. I just, I just, I just know, I just know these fools ain't gonna buy that. I can promise you, Carla. Hold on. All this, all this laptop revolutionary stuff we be seeing online from these dudes be putting up in my chat and all on Boston Twitter and stuff. I can promise you that they ain't buying this fight. They wasn't going to buy it when doggone Keith Thurman was, was a part of the main event. They ain't going to buy this fight. They're going to come online, digital, they're going to digital game bang for their favorite, uh, for their favorite record label slash promotional company. But that's about as far as it go. They ain't spending nothing. I have bought more pay-per-views last year than these, than, than, uh, than these Shea Butter Laptop Revolutionaries probably bought their entire career on, on, um, on, uh, on, on the YTBC. Carla, what's your name? Where you calling from? This blue from Baltimore. Blue from Baltimore, talk to me. I mean, what's up with you, Coach? I want to give a shout out to you first. I love this show. Most of the time, I be calling. I, I, I mean, I don't, I don't be calling for real because I be working. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just wanted to say something real quick. <clears throat> a lot of the shit that you be saying is all the way on point. And let me tell you, and let me start with this first. When you start talking about tank. The flow modes and all that type of shit you be you be putting out there, bro. You be so on fucking point. It don't make no sense. What I need for you to do, Coach Malley, is come to Baltimore and just talk to some tank fans for me, please. Yo. This shit is gonna blow your mind once they start talking and giving you their fucking VO. I'm just, once they start giving you their POV on 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 what they feel about tank mm. and all that type of shit, bro. They is gonna fuck your mind. Uh, just talk to you. You gotta talk to somebody outside of myself. Cause mm. down here, I'm considered a hater. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't do too much. What, 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 you, what, 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 what? I mean, uh, what the tank? I mean, tank is a good fighter. He's a really good fighter. I think he is. I, I think I he is. myself. He is. He is. He is. But I'm known for telling people that knockout punch is getting put on all the wrong opponents. Point blank period. Hands the fuck down. Mm. He ain't for. Nobody that we fucking asked for, and that shit is getting wiggity, wiggity, fucking whack. Straight <laughs> like that. that shit's trash. <laughs> I agree with D Block one thousand percent. <laughs> every time I be fucking listening to this shit, I listen to this, I'm listening to this shit all day, every day at work, and I be thinking to myself like, this is my fucking D Block. Be giving them the blues everywhere. The, the Rise Podcast. He over there on the boxing voice. He everywhere sitting. I be like, boy. He is fucking going <laughs> ape shit out this bitch. And he's saying all the right shit. That's what's so crazy. Keep talking about everybody like, we against these guys. Man, fuck all that. He's like, he, he's speaking the fucking truth out this bitch. The witness protection program is real. And when I used to be on Fanon and them channel and shit going in on all of that type of shit, he used to always be talking. Lord Blue MBM. Lord Blue MBM. Hey, you. Uh, stop, stop. <laughs> he has great block. Straight block me. Once I start speaking the truth on that chat, yo, straight start talking to me. It's blocking me, yo. So it was like, it was real bad, bro. But I wanted to let that go. I'm right, pulling out. I salute, Blue. Hey, blue, real man. quick, though. Real quick. Hey, hey, you hear me? Real quick. Can you just tell me what the fuck happened with Keith Thurman and why this shit off, though? I'll, I'll, I'll tell y'all for you. Salute, fam. Yeah, man. Uh... Hey. <laughs> Hey, hey, so, hey, so he a fan of D-Block, huh? He a fan of D-Block. Facts! 
say they might be on point, boy. They ain't, bro. That's the first person I've heard that called the show and said D Block be on point. <laughs> Don't go blue for Baltimore and say, man, look here, man. D, D-, D- Block, D Block be on point. <laughs> God damn, D Block. <laughs> say D Block be everywhere. D Block be pulling up. D Block be pulling up. <laughs> D Block, he say D Block be on the Boston Boys, the Rise Podcast. D Block be everywhere pulling up. Hey, man. God damn. <laughs> true, true, true. Oh, man. Uh, but that, that, that's hilarious, bro. That's hilarious. I ain't going to say a lot to you, bro. I'll call hold on. Hey, that's hilarious. I, I can't even front. Uh, shout out to Raymond. Hey, okay. Dropping out quarter of a bam double, your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super Jack received. Playtime's over, boy. Boy. He said, Coach, he said, you have a peep how Bill took your saying and used it on Ryan's pops. He called him Shea Butter <laughs> because that's what they be putting in their head. <laughs> I said, yeah, the Shea Butters, man, the Shea Butters. Yeah, see the... <laughs> <laughs> Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People pimping, pimping, sharp as razor blades. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? It's Curtis from Long Beach. Curtis from Long Beach, talk to me. Man, why, why are the PBC fans not keeping that same energy that they keep for the, the outside fighters? Like. They want Devin Haney to jump up and fight Boots, but why y'all not screaming for Boots to get a shot at uh, Tim? You know what I'm saying? Why Floyd not saying Tim should, uh, you know, get Boots that shot? You know, y'all want all these people to jump up and fight these crazy-ass fights. Y'all wanted Crawford to go up and fight Benavidez. You know what I'm saying? Like, why, why y'all not screaming for Boots to jump up there and fight Tim too? And, you know, he ain't got an opponent. You know what I'm saying? The money already, the fight already set up. Boots in the gym, like, let him, let him get in there. You know what I mean? And then as far as the Ryan situation, man, you know, I think Ryan is just going to be one of those popular fighters of this era. Mm. Like, you know, Gaddy, he's going to take tough fights and he's going to fight. You know, some of them going to be competitive, you know, but he ain't really going to do nothing as far as like accomplishment wise. Like, he ain't really going to beat anybody. You know what I'm saying? Now, if he go off, going to upset somebody, good for him. But I, I don't see it happening. I think he's just going to be a popular fighter. And he's going to take a lot of tough fights, you know, like he's proving. He's good tank. He's taking death. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can't hate on the man for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really like him, but, you know, the truth is the truth. You know, kind of like A.B. He's fighting the tough fights. Understand. He don't fought Tank, and now he's fighting Ryan yeah. Garcia. Now he's fighting Devin Haney. So I, I give I give Ryan Garcia credit for that. He's fighting, he's fighting the top names. He's doing it. He's doing it. So. Yeah, you know, it's like I don't really like AB, but AB done took on some tough fights. You know what I'm saying? So you can't really be mad at somebody like that because look at the other dudes. They're not really taking fights like that. So, you know, as far as that goes, I'm going to give Ryan his props on his level of competition and the dudes that he's fighting and then the conditions that he took one of the fights in. You know what I'm saying? So you got to get a man some respect for that. But other than that, I don't, I don't really think he, he takes his sport that serious. It's just a money thing. And you know the fame for him. Yeah, and that's you know, exactly what it is. Power to him, you know what I'm saying? All right, shout out to Curtis right, Long Beach, man. Salute for him. That's exactly what it is. It's a um, it's a cash grab for him. It's a cash grab for him. Ryan Garcia will send a snowball chance in hell. Maybe he can land that lucky left hook that he closed his eyes and throw. He closed his eyes and throw. They're gonna come up with a game plan for that. Take that left hook away from him and force him. They force him to try to box, and they're gonna box circles around him. The fight gonna be kind of close. Out of the first five or six rounds, after that, after that, that shit gonna be a wash. I think it's gonna be a wash. That's my prediction. That's my prediction anyway. So shit. I put some money on it. Anybody want to bet? I put some money on it. Shit. Fuck it. Um, call it, what's your name? Where you call it from? Uh, a coach is D block three times. You know, I just I don't call three times no more, coach. You know, I keep it. I keep it simple. I keep it simple now. I say D block is out here in the street, hustling trying to, get, to wake up the people from Baltimore, going on channel to channel, telling the truth, speaking the truth. And today the truth has been exposed. I told you, coach, you keep on breathing. Like Wilder said, uh, uh, speak it, believe it, and whatever the hell it comes after that. I'm telling you, coach, we must keep on pushing, my brother. We got to keep on pushing. And my narrative is Baltimore's finest. I got nothing but respect for Baltimore. Y'all need to wake up and know that your king and y'all say y'all have is Mr. King Davis. He is not a king, my sisters and brothers. 
He is a fake. He's a fake hype job. Coach, what you got to say with that? Oh, I mean, I don't want to say he's a hype job. I, I, I do think he can fight. Um, I, I seen, I, I saw his footwork. He has really, really good footwork. Um, you know, is he fighting the top big time names? No. Um, he did fight Ryan Garcia, but I he had to catch weight and and when uh, rehydration clause, but he did fight him. Um, it's it's time for him to start doing what Duran did and Hagler and Hearns and 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 those guys are done. You know, it's time for him to start doing that. So we'll see. But I don't I don't think I don't think Tank's a hype job. I think he's a really good fighter. He's just that um, um I do admire his honesty. He did say that he's not called. He hasn't called out any of the top guys. Floyd well, Mayweather said. And Booger Ray Leonard said, none of those guys who you think are big names, they ain't nobody. And we ain't going to pay them what, what y'all think they should get paid anyways. So they let it be known what they're going to do. I've accepted it. And that just rallied to the situation. And I'm going to let it go like this. Like I always say, it's D-Block time. I'm letting you all, people and community, to know. Whoever want to call in the show, and you from Baltimore, and you're scared to speak the truth. Don't be scared. Know that D-Block is here for you. And Coach Malachi is here to let you talk to talk. And walk the walk. He is here for free. You call in and tell the truth. Tell those people from Baltimore. Like, they're your people too. Tell them to wake the <laughs> fuck up and know that Kane Davis, for me, I can say the truth, is that he's a hype job. I'm going to let it go like this, my people. Free Baltimore and free, free, free. D Block, D Town, D Town, D Town. Baltimore, stand up. I got, I got, I caught. I'm going I'm to let people, I'm going to let people talk for three minutes. I, I D block, D block clock down at two, two minutes and 36 seconds. I'm going to let people, I had two minutes, but I'm going to let people talk for three minutes. Fuck it. I'm going to give everybody an extra minute. D block did 236. So 230, 236. Y'all got to time yourself. Okay. One, two, three. Bam, time on. All right. Yeah, my name, yeah, 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 my name, yeah, my name, yeah, my name, Malachi from West Elba, Florida. All right, cool. Malachi, talk on the phone, uh, you know, uh, Go ahead, talk. What you got to say? Yeah, man. Uh, you know, all I'm hearing is Ryan hate today. Just hate, 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 hate. They hate no, they hate no Ryan. You get what I'm saying? And I say, sir, what have I said? What have I said? Um, that's Haiti. Well, you said he an Instagram model. Well, he is an Instagram model. He models on Instagram. Well, yeah, but you said he coming to ream the supper stick. I'm um, calling. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not lying about that. I mean, Andrew Reynoso said that he comes in there and he's not training. He's taking selfies and going going IG lives. That's what Andrew Reynoso said. Like that's a known fact. He's doing that. Uh, when you said you don't train nobody like Ryan Garcia, you know, you just um uh, you just um uh, collaborate with him. Yes, that's what that's what Joe Goosen said. His trainer, his original trainer, Joe Goosen. That's what he said. He said that, you know what I mean? Um, and you see what he's doing over there with Derrick James. So when it's like when you state the truth, the truth is the truth is considered hate today. You get what I'm saying? I get it. I'll call it what's your name? Where you call it from? T Skills, Jersey. T Skills, Jersey. Talk to me. Hey man, what uh, what 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 D Block got a special little line in there for him, man? He got like a bat phone in that motherfucker because he get in whenever he wants to. God <laughs> dang, he got a T. They gotta teach me the art of calling in. God, that motherfucker is good. <laughs> but good. yeah, man, it's fun. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker's good. God <laughs> damn. I'm like, he fucking again, Jesus Christ. And he do be everywhere. That motherfucker octopus. He got his <laughs> But yeah, oh uh, as far as Ryan and his buffoonery, uh it, it could be you know, a little play a game, but like you said, it don't matter whether he's playing or not. Devin going to wash his ass up. But I want to go off topic a little bit. I just want to ask you a question about Bomb Burner, uh, Alicia Bomb Burner and the um, AB thing. Do you think her response by using, you know, the sisterhood and, and being oppressed and all that was, you know, legitimate, being as though, you know, she had something to say about AB first? And that's how it all went down. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't even know her response, but a lot of these, but a lot of these women today, that's what they're doing. Um, if, if, if Alicia Baumgartner was the one that started it and AB clapped back, then what it is is um, what's going on today, especially in American society, you know, with the woke culture and stuff like that and the double standards. What they do is, you know, they'll throw, they'll start something, throw their hand out there, and then when they, when the hand get cut off, then they cry victim. The womanhood is I was oppressed, dad, yada yada yada. When you see people when you see people going to that, that tells you everything. That tells you everything you need to know. So 
I didn't hear it. Bro. Yeah, it was. I didn't. Um, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't hear that. If she said that, that's if she said that. But nah, um, he had on an IG. He had a long IG post about it. You know, I talking that BS. That, yeah, all trying to cover up the body count, man. But yeah, that's that's all I want to say, man. You know. Uh, but then one more thing though, the Tank hate. Uh, Tank is an elite fighter. Whether you like his competition or not. You still got to give the man credit for being an elite fighter. That's all I got, coach. All right, shout out to T Seals. Um, the judges right. stand up. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if Alicia Baumgartner clapped back or not. I don't know. All I'm saying is, is when people go to go to doing that shit and this and that, and that, you gotta stand on what you stand on what you say. If you say so, I'm, I, I come from a school of stand on what you say. If you say some shit, stand on that shit. If I say something, I'm gonna stand on. Yeah, I said it, and what? I, that, you know, that, that's that. I come call the way I see it. If you say some shit, stand on that shit. You get what I'm saying? Hold on. Yeah, always, always stand. You get more respect. If you get more respect standing on what you say than 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 um than than not. You know, call it what you name. You call it from. Uh Call it, what's your name? What's your Call. Little Southern, calling from Cleveland. Hey man, I just want to tell y'all, y'all don't, y'all can't see what's really going on, man. Ryan about to be the face of boxing. All this is a, is a ritual. They don't want Devin Haney at the face of boxing. They don't want no more Muslims at the face of as the face of boxing. Devin Haney needs his daddy to to speak for him. And if you don't think it's gonna be Ryan, who else? Who else is going to be the the future face? Um, where where are you where where are you basing this on? I mean, who has a more bigger following than Ryan? So, because Ryan has, who's going to be that next that next superstar to bring in the new wave of new boxing fans? So, so your opinion is because Ryan has a bigger following than um, Devin Haney that. Uh, there's some kind of conspiracy that's going to make him win the fight, or I'm saying it's more than just, it's more than just boxing. It's superstar quality. What other boxer has the superstar quality like Ryan does? And I tell you not. I don't think they they really don't want no more Muslims to be, you know, the 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 face of boxing. Like I don't think you know Tank is really going to stay the face because he became Muslim now and he's not really even active online. Mm. All right, well, um, you know, hey, I mean, man. that's just that's just my that's just my that's just my theory. Uh, now, obviously, I could be wrong, but I got a strong feeling Ryan gonna go in there and beat Devin. And when that happens, it's gonna be a whole different ball game. Okay. All right. Well, shout out to man. Shout out to um, Toledo Seven Man Cleveland. Salute, fam. Hey, man. Hey, man. See. See, 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 see. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell y'all like this here. I'm gonna tell y'all like this here. Now, now, now that I think about it, now that I think about what the brother is saying, now, hold on, I'm, try, I'm trying to put it all together. Now that I think about what the brother is saying, this what I think. We must internalize the flatulation of the matter by transmitting the effervescence of the Indonesian proximity in order to further segregate, to preclude on the issue of world domination with only circumvent, <coughs> excuse me, circumcise the revelation that reflects the aphrodisiac symptoms which now perpetrates the Jericho's activation. Caller, what's your name when you call her from? What's going on, man? You know where I'm calling from. Shy Town, baby. What's going on? Man, Shy Town, talk to me, fam. Man, all right. This is KQ, KC. KQ, KC from Shy Town. Talk to me, fam. Hey, what's going on, man? Look here, man. Tank is not a high job. You know, a lot of people must don't know boxing. All right? One thing about it is, Devontae Davis is now D Days. Now, you'll face a boxing. Why? Because you put asses in the seats. Excuse my language. Mm. All right? You put butts in the seats. Uh, you sell tickets. You know, now, knockouts. Knockouts is exciting. Now, you can't say that about a lot of other fighters. Because people on their knee, on their on they feet, for the first two, three rounds when Tank go out there and fight. Why? Because they're waiting on something big to happen. They're waiting on something exciting to happen. 
uh, I'm a big tank fan. It don't matter who he knocked out. Because one thing about it, he knocked him out. It don't matter. <laughs> you know, it don't matter. He knocked him out. Now, when you look at the um, um, resume, you're going to say he got this many knockouts. They didn't say who he knocked out. He just said he knocked him out. But one thing about it, I'm old school, right, coach? And one thing about it is excitement. Excitement, all right? That's one thing about excitement. We like exciting fighters. The sweet science is beautiful. Yes. But when you start breaking them down, goddammit, all right, when you start breaking them down, then knockouts, man, man, Muhammad Ali did it a lot of times. You know, I mean, come on, Sugar Ray did it a lot of times. You know, knockout sales, always remember that. So that's all I got, Cole. Right, I so, just so, want to so, say that, man. All so, right. Shout out to KQ, KC, shout out, stand up. Hey. You don't matter who's got that. Hey, hey, KQ, hey, KQ, say. Can't you say, hey, oh, it don't matter who you knock out. It don't matter who you knock out. He he, he knocked him out. Old oh, pussy ass nigga, what's going on, boy? I'm telling you, boy, I'm knock your fuck ass out, boy. Blow for blow, pound for pound, nigga. I got I got the title, nigga. I'm telling you, boy, I'm finna knock one of you what kind of niggas out. Nigga, I got these hands, nigga. I'm throwing them paws at that nigga. Finna knock ass down again, nigga. Get your ass back up, nigga. Don't run, nigga. Don't run, nigga. I'm telling you, boy, I want all the smoke. Nigga, I'm throwing them paws, nigga. I'm putting them hands on you, nigga. I told you what I'm gonna do to you, nigga. Catch you with the check left hook. Nigga, check left hook, nigga. I told you, boy, pound for pound, nigga. I'm the best. This more action than any Devin Haney fight. Put these paws on you, nigga. I told you, I got you back up, nigga. I got you back up. Nigga, watch that check left foot, knock your ass down again, nigga. I'm telling you, boy, it is what it is, nigga. I'm gonna make it do what it do. I'm telling you, boy, we ain't even playing over here, boy. <laughs> hey, Carlo, what's your name? Where you calling from? What's up? What's up, Coach? It's Coach Eddie from ATL. Coach Eddie from the ATL. Talk to me. <laughs> what's going on? Hey, man, uh, it is Ryan Garcia, mess, man. You know, me personally, man, I believe the kid trying to do his best to get out of the fight, man. He kind of acting like the dude that's in the Army, uh -huh. playing crazy, trying to get out. Or somebody that's trying to get a crazy check from the government, man. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know if the fight's going to go down. Because we see Keith Thurman pulled out. Now, Keith Thurman's injury is legit. Yeah. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, man. But just don't know with this kid, Ryan, man. Like, <laughs> we along, it's 420. That's a long way. That's a month away. Yeah, a month away. I mean, this yeah. dude might mess around and get himself locked up or something. You know what I'm saying? You never know with this kid, man. I don't know. You know what, man? Yeah, all over the place. You know what? I, I'm, you know what? You, you, you know me. I told you. I said, I'm a, I would be shocked if Ryan Garcia show up to the fight. And I said, I'm 99% sure that, that Ryan Garcia going to pull out this fight, right? That's what I was saying, right? <laughs> So mm -hmm. I said that I hope that I'm wrong. This I want to be wrong about this because I would hate it for Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia for this fight that he pulled out. Because whoever win this fight, you know, they get to say, hey, I be the top elite guy and it's for a title. If Ryan Garcia win, he's the champion for the first time in his professional boxing career. And if Devin Haney wins, it's going to be, you know, he's not going to get credit for it, probably, maybe. I mean, he'll get credit with me, but, you know, it's going to be, Part of what you know, Ryan Garcia mentioned it wasn't right, this and that, yada, yada. It's going to be a double standard with that. And I'm like, I'm st that's why I said, I'm starting to think this dude just trolling. He's been trolling the whole time. Ryan Garcia's been training. I think he's trolling, and that's what it's going to be. So um, I just want to see this fight happen. I do. Um, and, you know, I, I, ho I, hope it, I hope it does go down. I, ho I hope that it's, Dev it's Ryan Garcia that's face that's a standing across from Devin Haney come 420. I hope we don't get a Keith Thurman situation. No, for sure. And let me get a real, real quick opinion. I believe that the uh, Tim Zhu fight, actually, got, he got a harder fight now than he, than he did have with Keith Thurman. I believe that. You know, I mean, you know, last time, you know, we, want, we won a lot of money off one door getting knocked out. Yeah. I think now it's, it's going to be a harder fight. And I, I'm interested in seeing the odds. It may be an opportunity there, depending on where the odds is, to make a little bit of money. If you put a little bit of money on front door, if he can box him on the outside and stay, stay long, he can make it interesting. But I still favor Tim Zoo to win, but I think Fondue is a live dog, a harder fight now than Keith Thurman would have been. Okay. All right, well, salute, man. Shout out to Coach Eddie, ATL stand Yes, up. sir. <laughs> yeah, man, um, I, would, I would tell y'all, I would tell y'all, man, go, go, go back and go look at Tim Zoo's style of boxing and look at, just study styles and look at Fondue's style of boxing. Just go back and look at film, look at film on Tim Zoo and look at film on Fondor and tell me what jumps out at you. Tell me what jumps out at you. Look at the style, strengths, and weaknesses. Just look at that. Carla, what's your name? Where you calling from? 
Hey, this is Blue. I'm calling back, Coach. Uh, Blue, well, I'm from Baltimore. Talk to me. Yeah, no question. Hey, look. Literally, when you started laughing, when my man had said what your head just said a couple calls back, <laughs> when he was like, y'all need to stop with the tank hate and all of that type of stuff. Uh, he was like, tank not a hype job as long as he knock him out. <laughs> Coach, that's the epitome of what I was literally just saying, bro. I was banging your lines, too. You start laughing. I start laughing at the same time. Bro, we was laughing at the same time, bro. Dying laughing like yo, fuck, yo, this, yo, this is exactly how they sound, bro. My nephew, my brother, my man, yo, all of them, yo. Every time I start talking, like yo, yo, bro, have y'all not been watching? Yo, we've been watching this shit since like 2016, 18. Well, I can't even remember, bro. Since yo was back in like, he was still fighting on um undercards, the fucking the uh the, the Conor McGregor and shit, like. Can we was watching your yeah. back then, Conor bro. McGregor, like, yeah. Conor McGregor and um, seeing... Savannah Marshall was on that card, too. Yeah, so that's it. I'm, I'm telling you, bro, have you, have you not? Is we in some type of time warp or something <laughs> where everybody just lose track of what's really going on? Like, we follow the motherfucker day in and day out. Yo can literally tweet something today, and then niggas will act like they don't remember that shit tomorrow. And shit. Like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, like, like, niggas getting hit with that little neuralizer from M... From men in black and shit, like, what the fuck is going on with these niggas, yo? Like, yo, niggas gotta wake the fuck up, bro. We've been watching this shit for too long. We watched yo beef in the hallway with Seven Farmer. We watched yo literally when we, uh, uh, get into it with fucking uh, Gary Russell. Gary Russell wanted to smoke. We didn't, we seen person after person that yo was supposed to, champ after champ that yo was supposed to have scratched with, yo, we just ain't. Get it, yo. So why <laughs> is motherfucker still on his dummy shit? Like somebody saying something wrong, yo. It's not even hate at this point, yo. It's just the truth, yo. Nigga, he, he ain't no fucking hate against Tank, yo. He's a good fighter, yo. The knockout is just getting put on the wrong people. There's no reason why West Baltimore motherfucker is supposed to be getting bit by nobody online, yo. You can't get cyberbully online by yo by nobody's son and his father at the same time, bro. I literally sat there live, yo, in the store working and listening to fucking Bill Haney disrespect Calvin Ford, yo. If you don't knock him out for no reason, <laughs> knock Devin Haney out for the fact that he disrespect the city and your coach, bro. Do it for that reason. What the fuck is going on, yo? I never, ever heard a West Baltimore person say that. You trying to set them up? You about to fight the white man? What's going on? I never heard that in life, bro. Why? Is, what is, if I do that shit the day of tomorrow, yo, I'm gonna be shunned by the whole goddamn town, yo. What the fuck is going on? Niggas need to wake the fuck up. All right, they man. can't duck this right. home, bro. Like this shit is crazy. All right. All right. Hey, shout, dude. shout out to Blue man. Blue <laughs> salute to you, fam. Shout out to Blue man. man. Hey, nigga. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this one thing. And you guys been watching this show a while. You know, I say this all the time. I say Tank Davis is the only fighter, only black fighter that I know. He can fight this chapstick. And his fans will not only be excited that he's fighting this chapstick, they're going to sell out the arena. I said Tank Davis is the only black fighter that I know. He could be fighting these pair of headphones with his one set of headphones, and his fans will scream and be like, you see, he knocked out the headphones. I said this on this show. And I said, I'm not going, I'm not getting upset with who tank fight. I'm not, I'm not, I said I wasn't doing that anymore. I don't care who any of these fighters fight anymore because I get it. And what I respect about Tank Davis is this. I'm going to tell you what I respect about Tank Davis, Calvin Ford, uh, Floyd Mayweather, and Booger Ray Leonard. All four of them have said, look, we ain't fighting neither one of those dudes. We taking, we taking uh, 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 the, the, the Mayweather green print. That's what we're doing. So, and then when I saw him on the Million Dollar Money Game podcast, when he said, look, I ain't never asked for none of those fights. That told me everything I needed to know. So, Tank fans don't care. They don't hold them to that standard. They don't care. And it is what it is. So, I mean, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I understand. I get it. You know, I, I don't feel that way. 
I know what it is because they're telling us what it is. It's not like they disguising it. Look, we ain't fighting. Listen, we ain't fighting none of them big name dudes. Y'all say that big name. We ain't fighting no Shakurs. We ain't fighting no Dehaney's. We ain't fighting no doggone Matisses. We ain't fighting none of them dudes. We gonna continue to do what we doing over here. Esau Cruz might be next. If he can win against Roland Romero, we might move up to 140 and may fight the winner of that to snatch the belt there. But that's about it. We gonna do what we wanna do, how we wanna do it, cause we don't have to do it. And that's just right to the situation. So it is what it is. Shout out to Leonardo. He say Tank is the biggest waste of talent in boxing. Facts. Okay. Shout out to Leonardo. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a AMW boy. Hey, Leroy. Super Jack received. Playtime's over, boy. boy. He said Ryan will be powered by the ritual blood ceremony. He say, uh, he say, my brothers. He said they're, he say they're keeping the good brothers, uh, the good brother Devin down. He will be sacrificed. With poisonous water, man, I, man, I, you know, I, bro, I, <laughs> brother, say, he, hold on now, wait a minute, coach, see what it is now, what they do, tell me what they do, tell me what they do, and I'm like, I, I, I can't even like, like when the dudes call me with this, I can envision them, cause it's, they sound like, they sound like probably me, right? I'm sitting back smoking some good green. I'm like, man, I got some of that good green over here, man. They probably somewhere smoking some good green, and dude, I don't figure it out, dog. Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. Dude, I don't figure it out. There you go. <coughs> hey, dog, check this out. Man, man. Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up, Pookie? Yeah, man. I don't figure it out, dog. Yeah. See what it is. See, this is what it is, All right? You notice that uh, in the Bible, it said that, you know, the, uh, only 144,000 would be chosen into the kingdom of God. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You do know that uh, Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia, we look at the clock. What the clock say? Clock say 144. The 144 represents the 140,000 that will be chosen in the Bible. Yeah. You know Tank was Tank was born on 144 second uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, of the hour. 144 second of the hour. Yeah. Okay. 144 second of the hour. All right. Yeah. So, you know what that mean, right? What? And then, Ryan Garcia, you know, he Illuminati and shit. You know, he talking, he hanging out with Alex Jones. Yeah, he hanging out with Alex Jones. Yeah, man. He talking about the blood sacrifice, Bohemian Grove, Illuminati. Remember Tupac talking about Illuminati on the seventh day, seventh, seventh, seventh day theory? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tupac. And then Tupac said, sure, shot me to get an album. Yeah, yeah. See, then what I think, right? See, the sacrifice already been made. See, I Haney, Mauricio Suleiman, Devin Haney, and Bill Haney, and Tank them all in with the Illuminati. Ryan Garcia is going through an initiation process. Bro, like this. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting back. I'm sitting back like, huh? Like, I, I, what, what, how we got? <laughs> see what it is now, see. See what I'm saying? I'm tell, tell, let me tell you what it is. Let me tell you what it is now. Let me tell you what it is. See, see what it is. What we doing now? See, we are exposing the truth. What the brother say? The brother say, uh, yeah, man, Ryan Garcia go win because I don't, I don't think they want to see another Muslim. See, they don't want to see another Muslim become the champ. So they, they don't want to see a Muslim become the champ. And Ryan Garcia is Muslim, and Devin Haney is Muslim. So what this is is this a this a battle of Christianity versus versus the Muslims, right? The Christians versus the Muslims. And see, the last time we had a Muslim running boxing was Muhammad Ali. R.I.P. to the legend Muhammad Ali. Yeah, see, and you remember how powerful he was. So what we can't do, we can't allow the Muslims to be back on top again. Me, the fans, we feeling like you not getting the best fights you supposed to. Mm -hmm. But we know Tank will fight anybody. Why is that? For me, we want to see you fight Lomachenko. Mm -hmm. We want to see you fight Devin Haney, Teofimo Lopez, motherfucking all the, all the top who they say is the four horsemen and they anywhere around your weight class. We want to see it happen. When we going to see it happen? I'm not sure. I don't. I can't. That's real shit. I can't. I don't know. That's like. How many times you don't want in there and said, I want these niggas, man? To be honest, I ain't never said it. I just, I just be 
you're trying to like, damn, you know, I, I, I just want to see the fight. <laughs> That's all I give a damn about. All the other shit, you know, uh, call the host today when you call the front. Man, look, you know I had to call back, right? Just case you. You know I had to call back, goddamn, right? About that nigga in that tunnel. <laughs> Listen, I interviewed, uh, I interviewed um, Coach Alice on my channel, right? Kenny Alice. And you're right, right? Tank, they say they got a plan for him, all right? And they're going to follow that plan all the way. Now, Leonard Ellaby, no matter what we think about him, right, he is a smart cookie, right? Y'all might not see it. Mm. I see it. He's a very smart cookie. And, 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 and matter of fact, Tank broke records of people buying his pipes. Yeah. You know, he's what, yeah, supposed to be the second face of Boston, right? Yeah. So, so, some, some so the they got a plan. Huh? Some would say even the face of Boston. Yeah, yeah, the face of was well, well, I won't say the main face of Boston, but um, but they said they had a plan for him, and the plan is not the belts and all that, and pregnant. they don't care about that. It's about the money. It's about the almighty dollar, and you don't find that in these young guys no more. They want to know how much money they getting. They want to know what the back end going to be. They want to know if it paid per view. They're not trying to fight for the belts and prestige. Only very few are doing that. But the belts, they don't understand. The belts leads to the almighty dollar. The more belts you get, the more money you should be making. You know, it depends on who you with. So a lot of people don't understand that. You know, it's, it's Boston is took a turn to so many lanes. And, you know, you got to understand Boston before you go run off at the mouth. You know. Uh, one thing about it, Tank ain't trying to hear what that guy was saying in the tunnel. You know, he ain't trying. He don't care about that. He just cares about Baltimore. what the check going to look like. But see, he from Baltimore, and the thing is, is you, mm -hmm. know, he, you know, he I know he's in the minority. Well, they Baltimore, love him in Baltimore. But 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 he but he like yeah, they love him in Baltimore. But the, the, I think I think the issue that people have is they want to see him fight the top guys, and I had that issue. But I've come to the conclusion. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? Uh, what I what I respect about Leonard Ellaby, Floyd Mayweather, Tank Davis, and his team, Calvin Ford, they've always said they're not gonna fight those other guys, you know, those other top name guys. Like like some every every mm. fighter is not treated equal. Like Osaki Foster and Raymond Ford, he cannot afford not to fight the top guys because he's not in the position that right. Tank Davis is in. Tank Davis can literally fight this chapstick, like I say before, and he'll sell out in the right. arena because he has a fan base like that. But he's probably the only black right. fighter that can afford to do that, and um, and, right. I, and I think it had a lot to do with you know with Floyd. You know, a lot of the Floyd fans became Tank fans. You know, got that torch passed like that, and um, he's the only black fighter I know that can do that, bro. Like, you know, it's always been who you fight matters, but but as it relates to Tank Davis, it doesn't matter who he fights. The end result is going to be the same um, from a fan base standpoint. But did you know this coach? Uh, 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 coach Ellis told me in the interview. That tank don't pick out his fights, right? Mm -hmm. Then he got a team of people that pick out who he fights, right? Mm -hmm. Now he can he can say no, he don't want to fight this person, but he wants to fight the top guys. But they want to stick to the blueprint. They want to stick to what made him rich and what made him, you know, the highest. Uh, what what, 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 what he broke that he broke that record at Barclays Center. Mm -hmm. Um, some record he broke at the Barclays. Yeah, he Center. broke he broke the, uh, uh, the gate the live gate at the Barclays. Center. Right. Right. Him and so, Romero. so I guess right. So I guess he have he don't want to fight, he said um three forty. You know, he just wanna, you know, make the money and get out. You know. But he's short and listen, let me get this straight first before I get off of here. He is not gonna fight Devin Haney. So they can stop saying that. He's a one he went in camp at one thirty nine. He's a one thirty five pounder. He's a small one thirty five pounder. There's no way the Devin Haney fight going to ever happen. I'm telling everybody this. Devin Haney is almost at 147. He's almost at 147. So that two weight class, the tank is not going up. He's small on his statue. So what about what about what and about Lomachenko? What about anymore. Lomachenko and uh, in Shakur at 135? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Now that at 135, yes. Now he wants to fight uh, uh, Lomo and um, Shakur Stevenson. They are trying to work that out. Now, I know this for a fact because I know all the Rise podcast people. Mm -hmm. You know, I talk to all SS. I, you know, I talk to Kenny. 
So I know, you know, but it's, it's not going to come to, you know, later on in, in the you know, summer or whatever. After after this next fight you have in June. So, uh, so you know, I just want to, you know, just let you know that. So, all right, then. That's all I want, Coach. All right, thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, shout out to Brady Twelve. Brady Twelve say what he say. He say uh, he said I thought Tank knock out heavyweights. Yeah, I mean, hey, that, hey, that, hey, that's what they say, man. That's what they say. See, this, see, this is why, like, people ask me. They're like, man, why you always playing this? I play this for a reason. And, and, and who's the next big star under Mayweather Promotions? Ooh, we have a, a quite a few young guns, as I, I say, you know. Um, and I don't want to leave any names out. But we have we have a, a great, great roster of young talent, and we've been very selective about what we're doing. You know, again, because when you when you have, you know, an, an abundance of fighters, you, it's hard to kind of focus on. When a big fight is to be made, it has to make sense for both sides. No promoter or company is going to put their guy in an event with everything to lose and nothing to gain, especially when we talk about this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. Interesting. Carla, what's your name? Where you calling from? Jamie from New York. Jamie from New York. Talk to me, fam. Coach, you're talking about Tank Davis, man. I have to go back. <clears throat> All right, here you go. Listen, nobody's saying that the boy can fight, can fight, you know? Mm -hmm. The boy can fight, man, at the highest level. He's got real skills. I admit it. I like him. I respect his skills, man. The boy's good. But, coach, imagine, sh he, he, he ain't got nobody, man. Imagine Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, at, at the height of his career, fighting nothing but tomato cans, bro. You know? Of course, he's going to KO these people and look great doing it. But Sugar Ray wasn't, you know? He was fighting legacy fights. Mm -hmm. After legacy fights, Tank is not. That's the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. That's how I see it. And, coach, you asked a question about Fondura. When you first look at him, other than his height, what I see in him, bro, um, he likes to fight on the inside. He yeah. likes the bang. Yeah, he I think the that's bang. the, you know what I'm saying? I, I think he should use his reach to his advantage. Yeah. If it was smart, uh, that's the wrong, uh, he, he's coming to bang that night against Zoo. That's the wrong fight, man. He's going to get slept. I have a question for you, coach. How come the guy that slept from Dura doesn't get that title fight? Well, because he just he just fought him Zoo. Remember, on the guy who slept from door fought him Zoo and lost. That's who that that's oh, that, that's, that's who, right, that's, who that's who fought Tim Zoo. That was his last that was his last fight in Australia. I he got beat the guy and lost. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. All right, all right. I forgot about that, coach. Well, that's all I got, man. Coach, uh, um, uh, Tank can fight, man. We just want him. We just want him to prove it against the best. That's all. That's my call, my brother. I salute, Peace, coach. <laughs> Um, yeah, man. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real with you, man. Like the only, if, if, if Tank, I'm not Tank, if Ryan Garcia and Derrick James don't work out, the only shot that, man, it ain't but a couple of more trainers. I think that he could probably try to go to maybe Robert Garcia. Um, Robert Garcia, maybe he can go train with, um, uh, coach Calvin Ford. Coach Calvin and them boys, maybe he could train with them. But if he's trying to fight Tank again, well, he ain't gonna better. He's not gonna get the Tank fight again because Tank ain't moving up to 140. If Tank move up to 140 and fight somebody, then that means that all the other stuff he said prior was was, was some was some BS. But um, if he but if he's not gonna get the Tank fight again, train with them or train with Bomac. Train with either either uh, cause I don't I don't see this I don't see this marriage lasting long. Um. Carla, hold on. I don't see this marriage lasting long. I left Derrick James just want to get the check. He's he's. I think Derrick James is realizing you don't train Ryan Garcia. You collaborate with him. Same thing that Joe Goosen said. So if this don't work out, then I'm thinking, man, maybe go to Robert Garcia, Buddy McGirt. But Robert Garcia, I mean, Robert Garcia and Buddy McGirt, is, especially Buddy McGirt. Buddy McGirt is too much of a dis disciplinarian, and he ain't going to babysit you. So that probably ain't going to work. But either either Coach Calvin, go get with Coach Calvin, or get with uh, Bo McNeil, man. But they, them boys ain't going to be playing either, so we'll see. I'll call it. What's your name? What you call it from? What's up, Coach? It's JBM from Texas. JBN, How you doing, Coach? JBN, talk to me, fam. 
yeah, man, I keep telling you, coach, this is all just pretending and this is all just a way to sell the fight from Ryan because um, he doesn't really, like, at first when I was looking at the videos, he was looking like something was wrong with him. Mm-hmm. But now that I keep looking at his the new stuff that he's been updating, he, he, he seems like he's just, like, it's just an act. And another thing that it tells me that this is just promotion is based on the people that he's been linking up with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah. He's been linking, linking up with Andrew Tate because Andrew, Andrew Tate, Tate yeah, has a yeah, really big yeah, following. Yeah, yeah. Um, he 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 he's been he, he's linked up with a lot of like influencers. Uh, Kanye West, uh, um, um, uh, what's the name? Alden, Alden, um, Alden Ross. Uh, they've been talking about him and Alex Jones. Like Ryan Garcia is definitely trolling. I believe that, and um, he's promoting this fight in a weird type of way, a strange type of way. But he's doing it like all all the influencers, uh, Logan. Uh, 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 Jake and Logan Paul been talking about him as well. Uh, Pat, you know, uh, Pat, Bat David been talking about him. Like all of the top influencers on social media are talking about Ryan Garcia. It, it, like so, uh, 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 what's my main main name? Stephen A. Smith. Everybody's talking. He's on the Breakfast Club. Everybody's talking about this guy. I say this guy, and I thought about. It, I say this man. I say this man playing possum, man. This man. This the, man. The he's selling like- the fight. That's all. If you pay attention to uh, if you pay attention to like the newer generation, um, I mean I don't want to say anything bad about them, but like um, they like that shit. They like people that are like <laughs> they they're victims and they they go through like stuff like that, and then somehow they they make it. Uh, they make it. You know the newer generation they they like that shit, and that's that's what uh, Ryan Garcia is promoting to the newer generation, the younger people, mm. because that's who follows him. Um, so that's why I think that it's just publicity stunned. Ryan Garcia will make it to the fight. He's going to take that ass whooping because I do believe that Devin Haney is going to knock him out. Um, but reason is because I feel like Devin Haney is going to push the pace and knock him out because this is a real grudge fight. Like they actually do have a lot of back history and a rivalry. Yeah, he didn't have that type of rivalry with a Regis Pro race. So that's why I think he didn't step the gas to knock him out. But the Ryan Garcia, there's a rivalry there. There really is. Um, Another thing that I want to say, man, um, Tank Davis is a complete hype job, complete hype job. This guy is a really a made-up champion, a made-up fighter. He is a Canelo Alvarez without any accolades. Uh, I'm pretty sure you might agree with that. Right. And another thing, Coach, I, I kind of, uh, one, one last thing that I want to say, I agree. You got to wrap it yeah, up, man. You've so been agree. man, for a minute, bro. <laughs> Uh, so I agree with you saying that uh, Daffy Duck Davis is telling us that he's not going to fight the fight. And I wasn't giving him a lot of shit for not fighting the fight. But the thing now is that he's a full-fledged champion now. So he has to fight the fight and he has to get out of his comfort zone because he can't hold up that belt. All right, shout out to JBN, man. JBN, man, you, man, come on, man. God damn, JBN. I, I, try, I try to stall you out, dog. God damn. I said, okay, you, 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 you went for a little bit. I try to stall you out. You don't made three, you, you don't made one point, two points. All right, and another thing. All right, last thing, coach. I'm like, God damn, you got, you got, call back, call back. Hey, call back, JBN, call back, man. God damn. Try, listen, I try to, I try to stall you out, man, but damn. Don't ever, ever, Come by here. Okay? Shout out to JBN, man. God damn, JBN. Carla, what's your name? Where you call it from? <laughs> Hello. Carla, what's your name? Where you call it from? It's Curtis. Hey, Curtis, two times. Well, Long Beach, talk to me. And I just had to call back, man. This tank talk, man, is ridiculous. I mean, my, my only <laughs> issue with it is when you call and you say tank is elite, that's what I take the issue at is because he ain't fighting nobody that, that proves that he is elite. So... You know, if you want to say he's a, a big draw and, you know, he, he puts butts in seats and he's a cash cow, like, man, I ain't got n- I'm not going to argue those those dumbass points. But when you call here saying that he elite and he ain't fighting nobody, that's where I take issue at, man. That dude ain't fighting nobody. And I watched Calvin Ford say, are we going to fight this guy when he ain't going to let us do what we do? 
like, well, I'm going to put him in there with him, man. Like, that shit is dumb, man. So just because the man ain't going to just stand there and let you knock him out, you're not going to fight him, <laughs> I, I take issue with that, man. So y'all can y'all can keep hyping him up and saying that he's a big draw, but don't ever call here and say he elite because he fights somebody that proves he's elite, man. Like, that's my issue with it, bro. I, I'm done with this shit. All right, sorry, Curtis. Curtis, Hey, Curtis. Hey, hey, that's what Curtis. Hey, that's what Curtis just said. Now, I am the number one contender. I'm tired of James the Poodle, Grim Reaper, whatever he want to call himself, ducking me. All right, I'm tired of man driving around town and eight Rolls Royces. He ain't fought nobody. I'm still in a bro hand. <laughs> hey, out there, Curtis. Curtis say, Curtis say, now I'm the number one contender. Now I'm tired. I'm tired of my fight of James the Poodle, Grim Reaper, uh, Tank Davis, what they want to call himself, ducking me. <laughs> All right? <laughs> I'm tired of seeing Ryan Ryan Town, Hey, Rose Royce, he ain't fought nobody. I'm still in the bro here. <laughs> hey, that was all sounding like today. Y'all calling him, man. <laughs> yeah, man, Tank ain't fighting nobody, man. <laughs> hey, how, how did we get on Tank in the first place? I thought we were talking about Ryan Garcia and Devin Andy. And Derrick James, I'll call him, what's the name you call him from? What's up, coach? It's JBN again. All right, JBN, two times. <laughs> All right, there you go. You got a fresh three minutes. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I just have to get the, the, the tank thing out of my mind, coach. Um, <laughs> I agree. I agreed with you, and I agree with uh, the, what uh, Booger Ray was saying about tank, that they are telling us that he's not going to fight nobody. He's just going to cash out every fight, and that's it. Right. But the thing is now is he, he is a full-fledged champion now, coach. He has a WBA full-fledged belt. So he can't be hugging up that belt and fighting tomato cans and nobodies and holding up the line for the few, for the guys that actually do want to challenge themselves and actually do want to be a, a real champion. So that's the disagreement that I have with that. Uh, he can't be ducking and cherry picking no more. It's time for that man to step up. If not, relinquish that belt and let somebody and let a real boxer fight for that belt. Um, Tank Davis, like he really is like a made up fighter. He's a paper champion. He's a paper fighter. Um, if you really think about it, coach, uh, this guy, um, he, he, like, he's been ducking his, his whole, his whole career. Like, he's been helped his whole career. And I actually do feel bad for the guy because I think that Tank Davis had a big, um, would have been a big star. If he actually had the fights with, like, with a Lomachenko, Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, I feel like this guy really could have been something. Because he is a good fighter. He's not a complete hype job. The reason people say he's a hype job is because they make him seem like he's elite. And he's not elite. He's just a good fighter. Um, but that's all I have to say about uh, that, Coach. Uh, thank, thank you for listening. You have a good day, man. All right. Sorry, JB. All right. There we go. I'm a TV. Look at JB here, boy. J <laughs> Yeah, coach, he been ducking the chair pin, picking his entire career. Man ain't fought nobody. See, that's what I hear. Go. This what I'm hearing. This is what I don't like about Tank Davis. The man been ducking the chair picking his, his entire career. Two, that's one. Two, he ain't fought nobody. Three, he been ducking the chair picking. Four, he ain't fought nobody. Five, he still ducking the chair picking. Six, he don't want to fight nobody. Seven, he ducking the chair picking again. Eight. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Call on no. Hello. Yeah, nine, nine. I don't like his baby mama because she a red bone. Ten, he got a whole lot of money. Eleven, he ducking the chairman. <laughs> hey, yo. hey, that's what I'm hearing for these calls. Somebody called, man. Hey, Carla, what's the name you calling from? Hey, man, this key skill two times, man. I had to call back, man. <laughs> this goddamn tank hate is getting out of control. And, and that last caller sound like he was about three foot one. Talking about he feels sorry for tank. Shut the fuck up. They don't know what the fuck he's talking about. But listen, check this out. I call tank elite because I, I call a complete boxer who's undefeated elite. Uh, that's what I look at as elite. When you a complete boxer, when you can do it all, when you can go in and out, you got power, you got footwork, you got high ring IQ. That's what makes you elite. 
Tank has Tank got all of that, and all these people that crying that he ain't fight. I guarantee you, if the fight ever do happen, he those fight happens. A, a lot of y'all ain't gonna be saying that. It's gonna look a lot different. He beat the shit out of Devin Haney and sparring. Yeah, I understand it's a lot of stuff with that. It was sparring, but still, he still did it. But anyway, the hate is crazy. Tank is an elite boxer. You don't like what he who he fight? Cool. He's still an elite boxer. Thank you. I shout out to T Seals. T skills, New Jersey. T skills, New Jersey. Salute, fam. Hey, boy, y'all, hey, y'all, y'all killing me. Hey, today, boy. Listen, hold on. So, so y'all, so we just forgot about Ryan Garcia, huh? True, true. Hey, true, hey, so, true. so we just so forgot about Ryan Garcia, and Derrick James, huh? Don't everybody believe in Google? Go Google that shit. <laughs> it's just, we also we hold on. So we we don't forgot all about them. We forgot all about them, bro. I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers of all time. Hold up. This shit right. Yeah, boy, y'all, boy, y'all, 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 y'all got me crying over here, boy. Hey, y'all, y'all got me crying over here. Uh Carla, what's your name? Where you call it from? Hey, coach, it's Mo Easy, baby. What's up? Mo Easy. Uh Broward, Broward County. Stand up, see. <laughs> already, already. So, coach, I'm on my break and I just want to call in. I know it's been a minute since the last time I talked to you. Um, but I'm just here, you know, I'm listening to um the chat and about tank and everything. Honestly, uh, my opinion on that is that I do want to see Tank, you know, those big fights that everybody in those matchups they want to see, like with Haney, um, even with Shakur. Like, um, I love Tank, you know, I'm a fan of Tank, but I just feel like now it's just like we, we the people that enjoy the sport, we want to see those matchups. So, I mean, I definitely want to see some really good matchups instead of like some mediocre type of like, or, you know, uh, what is, um, in, I think, I guess like, you know, just matchups just to, you know, oh, just yeah, for yeah, 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 I see what you're emotional like, guys, type of fights and stuff like that. Yeah, guys that's yeah. really on this level, that's really going to push them and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I just want to, you know, come in and, and just, Keep my piece on, you know, how I feel about things. It's, it's, I just feel like it's time for we deserve to just see a really good fight, like really good matchup, you know, to get the get the every get the people excited again, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know what? You get some key words. You said that level of excitement. I think I think that um that level of excitement to be there. I like the Frank Martin and um and um and, and Tank fight. I like that fight, but but it's a level of excitement like when you the, the, the big name fights. I think Tank is almost Tank will be thirty. And, and I think in September or November, October, November, somewhere between September and November, he'll be 30 years old. So I think I think it's time. You know, I, I hope that I hope that Leonard Ellaby, uh, Floyd, um, Coach Calvin, and Tank, I hope they change their position and really, really make those make those other big name fights. You know, I hope they um, I hope they really change their position. Right. And I mean, I could say the only new um, other fighter that I like, um, the young, the kid. Um, when you had him on your had him on the on the chat when you had him on the show, I mean I'm interested in like seeing like the new blood like him young blood like seeing his fights and stuff too. Other than that, I'm not really too excited by every anybody else because it's like nobody's really stepping up to the plate pretty right. much. Like I mean, it's 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 pretty dry out there, you know. Okay, well shout out to Moezy on Broward County stand up. Hey, thank you for calling the show, sis. I appreciate you. No problem, folks. Right. Thank you. Shout out to Mo Easy. Hey, hey, um, hey, y'all. Um, so <laughs> this shit don't turn to the tape show. <laughs> hey, <it's too> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> hey, you know what? I feel like I feel like this is a conspiracy, and y'all jumping. I feel like this is a conspiracy. Y'all jumping me right now. Like this show don't turn into the tape show. What about Derrick James and, and Ryan Garcia, man? So y'all don't. <laughs> Hey, y'all like call hold on. Y'all like, man, fuck the fuck fuck uh 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 fuck Derrick James Ryder Garcia. I wanna talk about Tank. Well the man ain't fight nobody. I'm telling you, his fan base, they he can fight this top stick and they'll be happy. And what you mean he ain't fight nobody? Nigga Tank of the league talent. Y'all calling you hate no tank. Tank can fight who he wanna fight. He ain't got to fight nobody if he don't wanna fight nobody. We already know he gonna beat them dudes anyway. <laughs> so, so he ain't gotta fight them. Hey, 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 hey Connor, what's hey, the name hey, where you call from? It's, it's blue again, Coach. I had to call back. Yeah, blue, blue for I the had third to. Time. I, I got time today, Coach. Three times. My, my, my man said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Coach. 
just, just correct me if I'm wrong here. I, I, cause I, I, I know we think alike sometimes, man. So help me out here. Let me, help, help me out here. Was the man saying he's an elite boxer or he has elite boxing skills? Because he broke the shit down. Pretty simple for a, 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 a retarded motherfucker. I, I wouldn't say you, the word retarded. Mm-hmm. For, 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 for a simple-minded man to understand that. So I'm, let me, let me, let me, help me out. Like he said, elite boxing skills he has. Not that he's an elite, but I mean, elite boxers fight other elite boxers right alone. Am I, am, 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 am I lost here somewhere? Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, elite fighters want to fight each other. But, I, I, I thought, but, I thought, I thought that's, I thought that's what we was doing. And I mean, on top of that, I thought we was also fighting the people that the fans had asked for. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? That's all we've been asking, coach. You, I'm thinking from it from this point of view. My people paid us eighty dollars for the pay per views. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's why I be so adamant about the situation. My people's really kicked their bread out, yo. We work hard out here, yo. I mean, ain't nobody out here trying to keep kicking out no money. I need, I need, we, I, we, I need we, you to we, summarize we it, saying, like, Ain't nobody trying to keep kicking out money to see. You no, know, you, you, It's like you, you're tugging on the fans' heartstrings for real. Like, I mean, we know we got casual fan base. And, yeah, we just going to keep eating their eating they pockets up. And we never going to give them who they ask for. We just going to hand select, cherry pick, and you know what I mean? Give them who the fuck we feel like fighting. But that's the crazy thing. They been said this. And I've been known this, coach. Mm. I've been known it. I've been stood up like D Block and been, been been calling for for all this stuff. I've been standing since like years ago. You know what I mean? But the whole thing is these people tell the truth and they put it right in front of your face and you won't even accept it from them. So I mean like what just help me out. Like how do they how do they get people to how do they get people to think like this, bro? It's like Jim Jones or something. Oh my god, damn. <laughs> the cult like following. <laughs> but yeah, coach. All right, I'm sorry, man. I, I ain't gonna right, catch All right, man. Nothing. Time off, fam. I got That's you. That's just what it is, bro. All right, shout out to uh, uh hey boy. Hey, listen. Bro, bro, listen, listen, bro. God damn, bro. Can we please talk about Ryan Garcia, man? Let's talk about Ryan Garcia, Derrick James. Why we got <laughs> man? Cause I don't, I, I do not want to talk about this, man. Uh, call him what's your name? You call him from? Coach, what is boxing? Oh, I thought I was watching Jeopardy. My bad. It's Martin from Oakland. Martin from Motown. Talk to me. Two times. Yeah. Uh, I just gotta wonder what's up with Derrick James because if you think about it. You know, his fighter's been looking bad lately, and I don't know if he could afford to have another fighter just go lay an egg the way, you know, Spence did, and he didn't have an answer for Bud, the way Charlo did, and he couldn't motivate him to fight back, the way AJ basically looked like he regressed, you know, on the two fights he had with him, fighting, you know, journeymen's and tomato cans, and now to have Ryan over here acting a fucking fool, you know, I think I think you know I think Derrick James is in on it. I think Ryan is just basically covering his ass. He figures, hey, if I play the crazy role, I get my ass whooped. I got a built-in excuse. My mind wasn't right. That way, he could pander to the fans, try to get another big money fight. And if by some miracle he pulls off the upset, yeah, y'all tripping. Y'all thought I was really gonna fucking be over here wasting my motherfucking time. Blah blah blah. You feel me? That's that. That's how I look at it. You know what I mean. I still say he loses, but I think he's gonna do better than we all think. Um, no, I think no, no. Uh, I, I think I think I think he's gonna do good for six rounds, and um, for six rounds it's gonna be a really good fight. And then I think in the second half of the fight, um, he he, he gonna get he, he it's gonna be it's gonna be a runaway. That's what I think. I think condition is gonna play a big factor in it. Um, Devin Haynes is gonna get his timing down. He's gonna continue to take that half step back. He's gonna out jab Ryan Garcia. <laughs> Um, if it gets too close, Ryan don't have an inside fight game, so you know. Um, but if it gets too close, they're gonna tie up or whatever. But yeah, that, I mean that's the way I see it. I, I just think that Devin Haynes is a lot more disciplined than Ryan Garcia, especially more fundamentally uh, sound. Of you know, uh, Ryan gonna be trying to do the booty roll that ain't gonna work. That leap, that um, that left hook. <laughs> if, the le- if he don't land a left hook, it's like what Tank told him. And I don't mean to bring Tank up again, but yeah. it's like what Tank all you told got him, is the left. You know, all you got is a left hook. If that don't land, then what? Yeah. So, you know, so that that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. All right, but shout out to Mark from Oakland. Salute, man. Uh, 
Call her, what's your name when you call her from? Call her, what's your name when you call her from? What? Tampa, Florida, Roosevelt, Cross Fletcher. What's going on, Coach? Man, Cross Fletcher from Tampa, Florida. Talk to me, fam. Rose, salute, bro. Yes, sir, man. Let's let let let's get this let's 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 get this in perspective. The old always become new. These fighters these days, they don't they don't do what the old fighters did. I'm sorry for changing the subject again, but I got to put my two cents in it, and it's a fact. Mm -hmm. You can't be ducking and dodging. You can't come out, get the belt, and then say, "Oh, I want to fight this guy. I want to fight that guy." Nah, man. The old is going to come into new. Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray, all the greats, they didn't duck and dodge nobody. They took whoever that was up next to fight that fight, to be the greatest. Some got knocked out, some didn't. But they didn't duck and dodge like that, man. They didn't do it. The old will become new. This new thing that everybody got going on as far as picking and choosing who they want to do, it's, 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 it, we didn't have pay-per-view back then. It's, it's like garbage, to be honest with you. Muhammad Ali didn't go to Africa and basically pick who he wanted. He put that stuff together and went out and sold a whole big arena just with his mouthpiece. He didn't have Facebook, Google, none of them. So I think that that's what we all need to keep back in perspective. Teach these young fighters and teach these new generations of what is what, where they get it from. Okay, he's a good fighter, but come on, bro, you can only be the best if you fight the best. Whoever that you, whoever that's next, knock them down, knock them down. Mm -hmm. Can you agree, Coach? Yeah, I mean that's I mean that that's the era we came up in. Rose, like uh, it's different now. Now we are getting fighters that are that that, that have that mentality. There's a lot of the fighters that have that mentality. Um, right now, it's just that they're not as popular as, you know, the Tank Davises and the Devin Haney's and stuff like that. But we have fighters right now that have that mentality, and they're fighting those type of legacy fights, but they don't get the attention that the star fighters do. It's just in this era, right. with a lot of the star fighters, that's just where it's at. And what I said was what I do respect about Tank Davis, Floyd Mayweather, Calvin Ford, and Devin, and, uh, and, and um, Booger Ray Leonard, what I call Leonard Ellaby, what I do respect about them, I don't like it, but I respect about them. They're telling you, man, we're not fighting any of those guys. We're going to continue to do what we've been doing. So I respect the fact that they're being honest. They're saying, we don't give a fuck what the legends did, whatever. We're not doing that. We're going to do what we're going to do, make our money. We have a built-in fan base, and that's what it is. So, I mean, I don't like it, but I respect their honesty. So, Yeah, I respect it, too. But the old will come to new. The right. old will come into new. Hey, man, it out, will do. They're going to have man. to respect that. Peace, Coach, man. Love you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes, sir. Salute, fam. Yes, hey, sir. man. Hey, man. That's my partner, man. <laughs> that's, my par that's my partner, Roosevelt, man. We've been knowing each other a long time, bro. That's my partner, Roosevelt. We've been knowing each other a long time, bro. Like, I mean, since teenagers. Call hold on. Uh, shout out to JRG. Hey. Okay. Dropping that quarter of a dub. He said, Coach, I'm late to the show. He said, Did Keith get, get in house injured? Um, I don't know if he got in house injured. I know he got injured. Um, shout out to JRG. Yeah, yeah, he got injured. So he pulled out of the fight. He pulled out of the fight. Um, Carla, what's your name? You call it from? Right. Yeah, yeah, this Keith I had to call back one last time, man. It's the last time I'm calling <laughs> three times, back, three man. Times. I just had to say one more thing. <laughs> three times. Yeah, man. So he tried to debunk what I said and he couldn't even do it and shit because I described the elite skill set of a boxer, but you can't be elite without having the elite skill set. So I don't know what the hell he's talking about. But basically, well, see, but see, see how Tank is being caught with the double-edged sword right now, right? Because mm. it's damned if he do, damned if he don't, right? So he take the pay cut and fight the guys that y'all want him to fight because y'all think that these guys can beat him, right? That's the reason why you want him to fight. Who say got so who, who say take, take a pay, pay cut, cut though? Yeah, but, but that's what they but that's probably the reason one of the reasons why uh they avoid certain fighters is because the money ain't right. So it's like you want him to fight somebody that ain't putting butts in the seat, but he a real good fighter. So that's how risk go reward. So that's why I think them stay away from that kind of, but, but then you, but then I don't know, but then that could be argued because you could say, can't can fight anybody. He's still going to 
spell out. So mm-hmm. I don't know, but but all I want to say is this: Oh, what, what's up with um Trey Martin? Is, is he just top liver right now? Like, so Trey Trey Martin ain't nobody. He ain't shit. See, so so now when he fights Tank. He ain't shit. But before Frank Martin, Frank Martin, Frank, now he lined up for Frank Martin, and now Frank Martin ain't shit because everybody's still talking about he ain't fighting nobody. You see how he can't win? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, got, I like I like that Frank Martin fight. I like it. Um, I like yeah, the Frank Martin fight a lot. If, it, if, it, if Frank Martin was good for Shakur, it should be good for Tank. I, li- I like the Frank Martin fight myself. What's that? I like the Frank Martin fight myself. I just don't think that it's a pay per view fight. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, 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 that can make sense, right? You could say that, but I feel like, I mean, they, they on some shit where everything can't touch his pay-per-view now at this point. I mean, with his fan base, that's where he look. But that's what I, that's what I wanted to say. Frank right. Martin is, is one of these fights that people have been asking for, so I feel like people should give him credit for that. Thank you. All right, salute. Shout out to T. Uh, T. Skills on ATL, man. I mean, uh, New Jersey. <laughs> this shit right here. Lord have mercy, man! Come on, man! Y'all gotta stall me out, man. Hey, yo, Mo, stall them out, Mo. Let's say a special prayer for everybody in the chat, man. And I want you to hold on to God's unchanging hand, cause He helped Joshua fight the battle of Jericho. Yes, He helped Daniel get out the lines. Then He helped Gilligan get off the island. Lord, God damn, boy, shit. Ryan Garcia, uh, Derek James. Ryan Garcia, 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 Derek James. That's <laughs> damn. Hey, Carter, what's your name? You call it from? Coach is D Block four times. D Block four times. You said when you called the third time, you said that was gonna be your last time calling. Hell yeah! But you know who just called right now? He calling out people. He calling out people like he know what he's talking about. And you know, D-Block, once he hears that, he had to call in. My time is set, Coach. I got only two minutes. I'm going to let it go like this. Your boy ain't elite, my brother. He ain't elite. Won't ever be elite. It takes somebody in front of you to be elite. And you know who they are. Y'all been running and ducking and dodging. Devin Haynes, Shakur Stevenson. You've been running and ducking. Elite fighter, Lomachenko. Tank Davis was younger. And guess what? He didn't want to fight Lomachenko. Devin Haney was younger. And he took on Lomachenko. Stop giving people false as narrative. Stop telling me that he's this and that. He's a myth. He's a legend. Firing heavyweight. Knocking big people out in the ring. Stop telling people that. Stop giving us that fake ass news that you want to give us. It's the truth. We will expose you. You will be exposed. The walls are crumbling on your side no matter what you say. And I hope Frank Martin knocks his ass out. D block, D town, D C D Bill. You know what? Logistical. Logistical, you might be right. I you know, I had no idea. We might we might well talk about this tomorrow. Is Tate Davis an elite fighter? Yes or no? True, true, true. Let me go ahead and write this down. I'm finna tell y'all what tomorrow's show gonna be. And, you know, might as well, might as well. We talk about Ryan Garcia, Derrick James. Don't nobody want to talk about them. No, no, no. Are, no, no. are the walls closing in on Tank Davis? You know what I mean? Hold on. You know, that, that's that's a good title right there. That's a good title. Let me write that down. Yeah. Might, might as well. Might as well. Fuck it. Um, call him, hold on. He say, Coach, why boxing fans accept fighters like Key Trash as Thurman? I didn't want to see that fight anyways. The man, Duck Spence and Crawford. Then, um, then he's a, he say, uh, he was a, and he was a champ. Um, yeah, Corey, I don't know if I don't know a lot of boxing fans right now. They don't even know who the fuck Keith Thurman is. So you know, some of these guys that's capping for him ain't really, you know, them guys wasn't buying no goddamn pay per views. You know, I know they don't. Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People pimping, sharp as razor blades. Carla, what's your name? Where you calling from? Ken Demetrio, North Carolina. Shout out to Ken from North Carolina. Talk to me. Hey, man. So what? Uh, you talking about uh, Derek James and Ryan Garcia, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I think Derek James in on the troll in a little bit. Because, of course, he get his paycheck. But why would Derek James sit in the background and be looking like that? <laughs> like in all the videos. You know what I'm saying? 
So from that perspective, I think he in on it. But I know, I know, Coach, I know you've seen the video around the Derrick Jagos and Pat for real. <laughs> yeah, I played it. I played it on the I show. Know, I played it. Yeah. I know you've yeah, you seen Yeah, that shit was looking tight. What? <laughs> 10 was down? What? What? 10 down? High guard? Catching and shooting? Blocking the body shot? Blocking the head shot? Throwing the left hook? You've seen it. I know y'all seen it. Don't play with it. I saw it. I saw it. So I saw look. <laughs> So look, while they he is probably doing and then and then notice this too. All of the goofy shit, the the nigga wearing the same outfit. Yeah. So it's almost like they might have had like they might have came in and said, like, look, we're gonna do like a goofy photo shoot and make these people think we in here playing, but all the other days and he been reposting the same videos yeah. in the same outfit of him doing the goofy shit. So it's like just everybody just calm down. Just calm down a little bit. <laughs> but y'all know what I got. <laughs> April twentieth. Devin Haney is getting ass to belt. <laughs> ass to belt. That's how it's going to be. And, you said, and I heard you when you said you think it's going to go down here around about six. Yeah, yeah, about, about six. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan going to stop Devin Haney between round seven and nine. He's going to stop him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> going to put him down. And I, hear, and, I, and I heard what everybody said. Oh, yeah, you know Devin going to get his shit off there and grab him. I'm telling y'all right now. Everybody in this chat, listen to me. Listen to my voice. If, if if when Ryan Garcia cut that distance and Devin Haney tried to grab him, watch what happens. Just watch what happens. You you can you can grab people that's smaller than you. You can grab people that's little, and you can wrap your arms around them. You, I know y'all seeing Ryan Garcia walk around them big ass chains on. What y'all think he getting ready for? You think he just getting ready just to let Devin Haney do what he want? Nah. So this just, just watch what happens. So like I said, April twentieth. Devin Haney getting ass to belt, and that's all I got, Coach. All right, shout out to Keita, man. No, cut the light, stand up, man. All right, there you go. Keita say, look, man, we finna put hands and foots on that boy, man. Devin Haney, man, we finna put hands and foots on that boy, man. Hold on. Carla, what's the name of your caller from? Martin is from Oakland. Martin from Oakland two times. Yeah, Coach, uh, after hearing that caller defendant Tank say that the reason why Tank ain't giving us the fights we want to see is because they're high risk, low reward. I had to call in. That's the most bullshit excuse I ever heard in my life. I mean, come on, coach. That's the fights that sell. That's the fights that generate money. That's some legacy fights that if he fights them now, sooner than later, that's the fight he's going to be remembered for. Going head up with Shakur. Going head up with Loma before he retires. Going head up with Haney. That Ryan shit, that was just a cash grab. He ain't gonna get no, 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 no fucking, you know, cool points for that shit. Everybody gonna forget about that shit unless their point is to defend him as far as being a pay per view drug, because that's all it. That's all it counts for. Yeah. It don't count for shit. He don't get no type of credit for that bullshit ass fight. You feel me? It's it's like I don't I don't complain because I see a lot of other motherfuckers moving that way. But you yeah. can't use that bullshit ass excuse. It's like Canelo fighting Benavides. That's the biggest fight that motherfucker can make, and that's the most bullshit reason for him not to fight him. Is oh well, you know, risk versus reward, motherfucker. You get both. Them legacy fights, them are career changing fights, career defining fights. You gonna be in the Hall of Fame on the strength of fighting these motherfuckers not once but two, three times, and to use that as an excuse. Man. But see, but see, this this is what I was saying. I'm like, all right, well, let's be real. Like, 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 like um Canelo, Canelo has a lot of big names on his resume. He does. He has a lot of big names on his resume. And Canelo is doing is doing and has done more than what a lot of a lot of these some of these top guys have done, right? I have I have to give him that. So um I think people are saying that it seems like it's kind of like a devil standard. This is what I was saying. Well, if you're going to allow one fighter to do it, you got to allow all of them to do it. It do it does seem like yeah. boxing fans are all over the place, depending on which fighter it is. Certain fighters can do what they want to do. Other fighters, they can't do what they want to do. They have to do what we want them to do, and we're going to tear them down. And it's like a devil standard there with a lot of the boxing fans. So I see what's going on. Um, I, I get it, you know. I don't like it because that's not the era I came up in. I'm not folding, building, build, uh, bowing down to the pressure of that. It just, I'm just not. I'm like, man, fuck it, man. I, I'm gonna still, I'm gonna continue to fight the good fight. But it is what it is at this point, man. You know. Um, but shout out to man, shout out to Mark from Oakland. Salute, fam. You get what I'm saying? Like, 
Like you can just look at like if you go look at Canelo's resume, you could he can he can name the names. He can name Laurel. He can name Trout. He can name uh you know Triple G three times. He can name Dog going on Jamel Tallo. He can name uh Miguel Cotto. He can name um uh Sugar Shane Mosley, Floyd Mayweather. Like he has those names. And this era of fighters that's fighting now, they don't have those type of names on their resumes because the guys are not fighting each other. And so this is what's going on. We got a new way the monsters doing it. Um, Crawford and Spence finally fought each other. Spence fought Spence fought Sean Porter, Ugas, Carol Brook, and he fought uh, Terrence Crawford. Crawford fought Sean Porter, Carol Brook, uh, 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 Errol Spence, you know, uh, Amir Khan, you know, uh, British Prescott. So you can look at fighters and say, okay, they fought the guys who were the two the, who were the guys in their divisions and stuff like that. And then you have other fighters. Tank has fought, you know, uh, Ryan Garcia, so Leo Santa Cruz, um, uh, some other guy. I, I, Roland Romero ain't. Roland is Roland Romero and Esau Cruz. You know those two guys, but um, but he got some names, a couple of names. You know, um, Shakur moved up the lightweight. He hasn't really got any big names yet. So uh, Devin Haney has fought Lomachenko, and he's fighting. Uh, he's fought Lomachenko, and he's fighting. Uh, fought the uh, uh, Regis Progre, and he's fighting um, uh, Ryan Garcia. So you know, a lot of these fighters they need the names. They need the names on their resume, and I think that's what's going on. The name guys, more of the name guys have to be willing to fight the other name guys. Uh, Carlo, what's your name? We call it from. Troy Graham, Baltimore. What's going on, sir? Uh, How you be? Troy from B-more. Talk to me, fam. Hey, man, I'm going to help you out. Ryan Garcia and Derek James. Ryan Garcia and Derek James. Everybody hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> what can you say? This has just become foolishness, man. I mean, to me, I don't know how you sell a fight by acting the fool, uh, by acting just that foolish. I mean, Ali would act a fool, but he had a way of doing it where, you know, you wanted to see him get knocked out. Mm. You can't, this guy, I don't believe you could sell a fight like that by selling the fact that you might be on drugs or something might be wrong with you because why would anybody pay to come see a guy that they know is going to lose already? Hmm? You know, it's, um, you know it's, it's always the realm of what if, though, the what if factor. Yeah, that's a, but what if he what if he land that left hook or what if he land this yeah. or what if he land the what if factor that leads that leads uh uh that's the myth that that leads the mystique or the mystery of, of the whole matter you know that's true and, and you know what i'll even add something else to the mix what if derrick james tells his tells the uh, other guy in the corner to pass him that pass him that special bottle that he mixed yeah, you know, <laughs> what you if know. he do that yeah, I don't know, man. And, and, and another thing too, Kena, Kena, Kena said, Kena said that what if Derrick James is in on the trolling? Derrick James have that's not that like Derrick James has never been known to be a nonsense type trainer. He's more so of a no nonsense type trainer. Like that's not even in Derrick James's DNA. I'm just gonna sit here and troll for social media. Like I just think that right. Derrick James is at a point to where I can't do nothing with this dude. Like everyone has said that this guy is untrainable. Joe Goosen said you don't train mm -hmm. Ryan Garcia. You um you um you uh collaborate with him. Eddie Reynoso said this dude is untrainable. We can't train this dude. He don't take it serious. Like all of the good name trainers, the few, and either trainers who haven't trained Ryan Garcia, all of them say the same thing. So I think Derrick yeah. Jane, like, man, fuck it. If he ain't taking it serious, then fuck it. That's on him. You know, I'm gonna just do what I can I do could. and you know get my check. I think that's what Derrick James is at. Ah, there, there you go. You beat me to the punch. I'm, I'm, I was thinking the same thing. He's like, you go do you. You paid me to train you, but don't ask me to get involved with the circus. That's yeah. pretty much what he said. So, but look, since the other dude called in and said that he going to, uh, Ryan going to stop painting, and well, she said six rounds, right? Mm. Right? Okay, so I'm going to say that Haney, Haney going to TKO him in eight rounds. Now, y'all told me I was crazy that he couldn't do nothing with progress. He dropped progress, and if he would have turned up the heat with the TKO, them he's taking Ryan out eight rounds. And I'm gonna call back and told, and I told you so. Right. And by the way, it was some heavyweight fights over the weekend. So Joyce won; he looked terrible. And Dillian White, well, his fight quit, but he's back to y'all. So, hallelujah! All right, shout out, to, uh, shout out to Troy for B more salute for him. 
yeah, you get you get what I'm saying. So I mean that that mean that's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much all. Like Derek James probably like, man, look, man, you can't you can't turn Ward into why Ryan Garcia is who he is. You don't hear you don't hear that with any other fighter. Like he's the guy that it is what it is. You know, um, you know, if there's some kind of magic trick, well, yes, yeah, what we gonna do now? We trying to fool everybody. This shit ain't working. You know, it ain't working. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So. It is what it is. I think I think he's trolling. You know, um, Ryan, Ryan Garcia, he makes money trolling as well. And, you know, some would say it's a little bit childish. You have a really big fight coming up, a serious fight coming up. I think he's trolling and um um it's not it's not it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. You get what I'm saying? So um shout out to Rock Bottom. Hey, okay. Dropping that quarter of a dub. He said exactly who does Tank have to beat for people to realize he's the top dog? If the money ain't right, not not one of y'all getting in the ring. Yeah, but it, there's a there, there's a double standard when it comes to a lot. It, 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 again, I don't, I don't even want to talk. I don't been down this road already, rock rock bottom. But I, I, I get I get you, I get what you're saying. I get I get exactly what you're saying, fam. But I don't like I just I just don't want to turn this into the tank show, man. Like God damn, <laughs> like it, it, it kind of like turned to it. I don't want, you know again. Uh, shout out to Boston Gems. Hey, okay. Dropping that half off. Bam, double your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super chat received. Playtime's over, boy. Boy. Salute to you, family. Say salute, coach. Now, would anyone really feel comfortable buying a fight ticket, hotel, and airfare to see Haney versus Garcia? Looking at Garcia acting a whole fool. No, no, exactly. He said, "I'm putting my wallet." He said, "I'm putting my wallet back in my pocket." And that's what I'm saying. It's like, okay, you acting like this. Is it actually selling the fight? We did, I did a show on that last week. How was this actually helping the fight? You know, uh. Carla, hold on. If you have all of these influencers saying we're worried about Ryan Garcia's mental health, he, you know, something is wrong with him. We don't want to see him get in the ring. You have all of these major influencers. It's kind of like he's trying to sabotage the fight. To me, it's a possibility either he will turn out to be a genius or he's trying to sabotage the fight. And I, that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I can't figure none of this shit out, to be honest with you. You know, I don't, you know, his fan base, maybe his fan base, you know, Oh, he talk about the Illuminati and you know we gotta we gotta see you know is somebody something gonna happen and you know, again I don't I don't get it I'm not again I don't get it at all um I'm not the brightest light bulb in the in, in the ceiling I'm not the sharpest butter knife in in, in in the kitchen drawer so I don't get it maybe there's some new age way type stuff that's going on that I don't know about and I'm involved heavy in technology and I, I have a marketing background I come from marketing I do I do that for a living right now that you know that's how I pay my bills of marketing so I'm like uh eh. I don't know, man. Maybe y'all know something I don't know. Carla, what's your name? Where you calling from? David Memphis, Coach. David from Memphis, you the last call. Talk to me. Oh, okay, yeah, Coach. Hey, good, good show. I just talked to the end of it. There ain't been long. Got in. Great job as always. I just wanted to uh, sign a couple things that nobody hadn't touched on. And first off, I mean, there's been a lot of. You know, I've been catching something about the tank and stuff. But what I want to say is. You know, Ryan and uh, Devin, Devin and Ryan both, you know, we got to give accolades to the young man. Both of them ain't duck no smoke. They they both come ahead. We had Devin. He went across the pond twice, and he come on and took, you know, took took a good fight and uh, got the belt. So then he went on up and then uh, fought Lomachenko. We know then he went on and got Regis, and now Ryan, you know, had Tank here. So, I mean, they all are actually taking the fight. I mean, you know, so they are taking the fights, but here's my outcome, Coach. I I think there's going to be a couple outcomes in this fight. And what I'm believing is if Devin can stay on the outside, this is the way I see it, Coach, from what, what, what I'm looking at. If Devin can stay on the outside and sell his score and whatnot and point him out, I believe that would be a clean sweep for Devin. But here's what I'm looking and watching. I've been watching some of the things that you've seen, like with Derek and him. If you notice what Derek's working on himself, it looks like to me what their strategy and plan is, is Ryan, Ryan's going to come in. I don't think that they, they're going to respect his, his power. And it looks like they're planning on coming straight in on him. And he's planning on just, you know, trying to take it to him and taking his lick and, and, and see if Devin can keep him off of him. And that's what it looks like to me. And if Devin can't keep him off on it, then it could be trouble. And then Brian could end up pulling the general you know, victory out. So that's just my call, Coach. It's my All right. Shout out to Dave from Memphis, man. Salute, fam. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. I mean, we gonna we gonna find out, man. So Derrick James, <laughs> Derrick James, we'll stay on topic. Derrick James, I think you know he might be. You know who knows what's going on. The shocking reality of Derrick James realizing working with Ryan Garcia is that that kid is untrainable. He does what he wants to do when he wants to do it. There are too many trainers that Ryan Garcia have worked with have all said the same thing. So I think that I think I think Ryan Garcia fans have to realize that. You know, you know, anything can happen magically, mysteriously. He can come in there, land that left hook, knock him out, whatever. But outside of a wing and a prayer, you know, I don't see that shit happening. You know, get what I'm saying? Shout out to uh Keith Bulldogs. Hey, okay. Dropping that. Bam, dub on your boy. Hey, Leroy. Super Jack. Received. Playtime's over, boy. boy. So I, I, I'm, I'm believing, you know what I mean? I believe he's trolling, but yet and still, like, you got Edward Noso. You over there with Edward Noso and Canelo Alvarez, fam. No boxing, no life. You fucked that up. Joe Goosen, you fucked that up with him twice. Bro, y'all go look at the interview. Well, I, I was in L.A. This is last year. This is last February. I'm in L.A. February or 8 March. I'm in L.A. And uh, I interviewed Joe Goosen. Joe Goosen said some things in there. <laughs> I say, um, I say, uh, if you was Ryan Garcia, he say, if I was Ryan Garcia. <laughs> Y'all know how Joe Goosen talk. I said, what advice would you give Tank Davis uh, in order to beat uh, Ryan Garcia? He say, well, since, uh, since I'm training Dev Ryan Garcia, you know, there, I think he said somebody, there's no nothing that I would say. There's no way that I would tell you what I would do to beat Ryan Garcia when I'm training Ryan Garcia. It was it was kind of like a sneaky question. I tried to sneak it in there. It was real funny. You get what I'm saying? Because he Joe 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 caught on to it quick. He had on his denim, he had on his denim, he had on his denim outfit. Denim, not denim, a uh, denim, denim outfit, you know, jeans outfit. He, he, you already know that. You know, we they know, you know they call him denim Joe. He had his outfit on. That joke, man. That joke was crazy, man. Uh, next year, say, man, Joe Goosen was old. He wasn't telling Ryan nothing in the take fight. What we were, <laughs> Keita, I think you totally missing the point. You can't tell Ryan nothing. Ryan wasn't even training with Joe Goosen. He came to training when he wanted to come, did what he wanted to do when he wanted to do it. So Joe like, okay, do we do, we, do, we do it your way? I, you like Kina? Are you listening? Hold on. As a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's do this. Let me play this. Like everybody can't be wrong about Ryan Garcia, fam. Y'all want to put that on Joe Goosen? How y'all put that on Joe Goosen? Question: Is Derrick James wasting his time with Ryan Garcia? Cause the damn show seemed like it. I've said it before, I go, you don't really train Ryan Garcia, you, you collaborate with him. You get what I'm saying? Like, Joe, bro, Joe Goosen said that years ago. That wasn't a recent video, that was years ago, fam. That wasn't, like, bro, like, literally. When he went over there to Eddie Reynoso, what, 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 what can you tell a dude, what can you tell a dude who don't want to listen? Who hardly show up the train? What can you tell them? Uh, then then y'all put that on Joe Goose. How you put that on Joe Goose? Like again, y'all y'all ain't y'all ain't y'all don't hold Ryan Garcia responsible. It's Joe Goose and fault. Ryan Garcia don't want to show up the train. It's Joe Goose and fault. Okay, in the rain, he went tell them that. What the fuck can he tell them? You can't tell them that he don't want to listen to nobody. He wasn't showing up the train. If you go back to them shows I did last year, I told you that the man wasn't even showing up to the gym. I was at the gym. I'm telling you what other fighters that was in the gym were telling me. Y'all, y'all telling you, but y'all, y'all, y'all don't keep, bro. Y'all, I don't, bro. I don't know what y'all see around Ryan Garcia. I don't. Outside of him being cute and pretty and, and having an Instagram following and got a nice set left hook and doing the booty roll, I don't see what y'all see in the dog. I don't. I, I, I just don't, fam. I, I don't see it, bro. I'm talking to Dante. Hey, okay. Y'all won't even hold him accountable. Like he can't do no wrong. Uh, Dante, what you say, fam? He say, he say, Ryan, Ryan even said it himself that he got bored in the ring and took it to tape. That's how he got dropped and stopped. I mean, bro, like they'll ignore all of that. 
it's always somebody else's fault. Down from the bar, there's a platform stage. People pimping, pimping, sharp as raise a blade. I mean, there's no accountability. It's, it's, it's denial, 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 and no accountability, no accountability. All these trainers lying. I don't been to LA. I don't smoke the butter McGurk. Interviews on my thing. I smoke the Joe Goosen. Been to his gym in LA. Um, been to San Antonio. Went to the Robert Garcia Boston Academy. Like, I don't, I, I got, bro, I got so many, bro, I got so many numbers in this phone. You have no idea. Like literally, I talked to a lot of people. So, I mean, yeah, that dude, that man. I, I, <laughs> hey, let's give everybody a round of applause. That's the thing. No accountability, dog. There's no accountability. It's always somebody else's fault. It's always somebody else's fault. I don't come to the gym. It's your fault that I ain't coming to the gym. Man, he ain't telling me nothing in the corner. Nigga, I've been trying to tell you for, for eight weeks leading up to the fight what to do. You didn't want to come to the gym. You told me, look, man, I do what I want to do when I want to do it. I'm at home training myself. I tell you when I come to the gym. So uh, he told, oh, Joe, like, okay, cool. Look, man, just as long as I get the check, dog, I, I'm good. Debbie James realizing that. Yeah, just as long as I get the check, dog, I'm good. You saw his last fight. What he was doing? The booty roll. The booty roll. He was doing the booty roll. Turning around, bending over, and trying to. And, and Derrick James told him, man, stop that shit. What the hell you doing, man? Stop doing that shit. You ain't no damn Floyd Mayweather. Stick to the game plan. Watch you, why you doing that? Oh, man, I'm just trying something, Derrick. Man, I'm just trying something, man. I'm just right now, I got, you know, I got my people. I'm trying, I'm just trying something right now. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Anyway, let's give a shout out to everyone who gave a. Uh, and gave her, you know, gave gave a cash out. Shout out to Dante's. Hey, okay. Shout out to Keith's Bulldogs. Hey, okay. Boston Gems. Hey, okay. Shout out to Rock Bottom. Hey, okay. Salute to Corey. Hey, okay. Shout out to JRG. Hey, okay. Leonardo Rodriguez. Hey, okay. Shout out to Raymond Moore. Hey, okay. Salute to Damian Bennett. Hey, okay. Uh, your boy Mambo. Hey, okay. Andy Payne. Hey, okay. Let's get a cash out. Uh, Super Chat is a round of applause. <laughs> hey, you can't help that man for the man. She is. I'm trying to, you know what I mean? I like a motherfucker, you in the gym. You know, you, Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, your teacher. And Bruce Lee say, listen, if you want to become a master, you are going to have to learn the ways of the wind. But just, I need you to come here. I'm going to teach you karate, tai chi, jujitsu, kung fu. You know what I mean? You're going to learn, um, you're going to learn many different styles here. Yeah, Bruce Lee, man, I, you know, I, I'll come to the gym. I'll come to the gym when I feel like it, dog. Like right now, dog. Right now, I got, I got some better things to do right now. I got a TikTok video I'm shooting. You know what I mean? I got Instagram. I, you know, I, I come, I show up. You know, we just, 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 I just need you in my corner when, when, uh, when we get ready to fight. Okay, listen, when you go fight Chuck Norris, you're going to need, you got to come to the gym and train. Yeah, don't worry about it, Bruce. Bruce, don't worry about it. I don't even play, nigga. What kind of bring your ass over here, nigga? This one I'm going to do to you. Oh, Lord, no more. I just kick what kind in the face. Oh, hit him in the stomach. Oh, Lord. Kick him, slap him. Kick him. Kick him. Kick him. Kick him again. Oh, Lord, I'm being what kind of ass. What you going to do? What kind of you want to do? Oh, Lord, hammer. Go up on him. Bam. Catch him in the neck. Ah, Lord, what kind of is dead? Yeah, man, he ain't tell him, he ain't tell him that, man. I'm trying to, Derrick J tried to talk to him. Hey, man, what you, what you doing, man? Man, what you doing on the booty roll, man? What you doing on the booty roll, man? Man, what you doing on the booty roll, man? You ain't no floor with me, well. Man, you ain't no floor with me, well, man. You ain't no floor with you, man. You know what I mean, Derrick J? I'm Derrick J on your trailer. Why you got me for this, man? Why you got me in the corner for it, man? I ain't got that ball in there, I got health pay. You know, I got down on Frank Martin. Man, he ain't you know, all that I ain't do, man. You get what I'm saying? Just imagine, just imagine Derrick James trying to talk to talk to him in the corner. Man, I do, man. You gotta get rid of yeah, man. Man, you, 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 you get what I'm saying? True, true, true. Anyways, anyways. Hey, shout out, hey, shout out to Yamas, man. Yamas, shout out to uh, La Jessica. Hey, okay. Shout out to shout out to Ahmed in the building. Hey, okay. Mimi 24. Hey, okay. Summer in November. Hey. Okay. It is what it is, man. Before we go, you know, you know, we got to say all praises due to the most high, the most exalted, the greatest human being on the planet Earth, Mr. Al Heyman. Well, you know, I guess I got to be like everybody else and thank Al Heyman. <laughs> I can quit my job now, baby. Six figures, baby. You feel me? I'm about to but, but, but a name, a name. Do you have a name? Oh, nah, nah. I ain't got no name, you know.
<laughs> name them names, man. They know who they is. Name them names, <laughs> please. The names need to be but they named. Know who they is. <laughs> the Mexican monster. Yeah, man, you know, hey, you know what I mean? That man sitting man, there dancing there like, man. He, hey, listen, for all we know, for all we know, this for all we know, right? Derrick James can be on the three-way right now with, with Joe Goosen. He can be on the three-way phone call right now with Joe Goosen and dog on Ed Reynoso. You know what I mean? Yeah, you mean, uh, yes, uh, yes, Derek, how you doing? Oye, flaquito, habla, háblame. You know what I mean? Dale, dale. You know, yeah, man, you know. Uh, 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 yeah, hey, wait a minute. Um, hey, Eddie, Eddie Reynoso, how you doing? Do you have your interpreter on? Si, senor. Okay, cool. You got the interpreter on. All right, this is Joe Goose, and, and, uh, and, and we have Derek James on the phone. Derek, I noticed that you're calling me and Eddie Reynoso about Ryan Garcia. What is it that you want to know? Me, uh, okay, um, um, Derek, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to understand what you're saying. It sounds like you're saying, is, is that true? Okay, Derek, hold on. So you said something about booty roll, and he don't want to listen. All right, okay, all right, cool. I, I got that part. You're talking about Ryan Garcia, right? Yeah. All right, you say, yeah, okay. All right, what is it that you want to know? Oh, you saying that he was in the ring doing the booty roll, and you had to yell at him and curse him out and tell him to f pay attention and focus. Um, yeah. Okay. What else are you saying? He he doesn't want to show up to training. He's too busy focusing on TikTok and Instagram. Oh, okay. I get it. That's the same thing that me and Ed Reynoso was going to. Uh, is it? Um, uh, were you going through the same thing, Ed Reynoso? See, si, senor. All right, okay, all right, all right. Well, you know, Derek, I don't know what to tell you. The only thing I can tell you, sir, is that Ryan, you don't train no one like Ryan Garcia. You just uh, collaborate with them. So just try to collaborate with him a little bit more, Derek, and everything will be all right. All right, all right, Derek. It'll sound like you said, I got Aerosmith, Frank Mars. That would sound like you said, All right, Derek, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> man, look here, man, trying to talk to that dude, bro. Bro, bro, listen, just, just imagine Derek Jane talking to the mother, like, Man, this motherfucker here, man. Shit, this motherfucker here, man, coming in here with selfie sticks and shit. This motherfucker in here, you know, he punching the speed bag with one hand. Taking a selfie with the other hand. Same shit they were doing over there with Edwin No Son uh, and Canelo. I, I heard he was over there in the gym with them. They got the Canelo and them got his arms crossed. Like, you know, you know, Canelo. Yeah, yeah, what's up, Eddie? Look at the puto over. Look at the puto. What is he doing? I don't know. Look like he got a stick in his hand. Is he putting no makeup? Yeah, look like he put no makeup, man. Is that guy liner? Yeah, look like guy liner. What the who's that uh, who's that camera guy over there? Yeah, I think they're shooting a I think they're shooting something on TikTok. TikTok? What is TikTok? You know, you know, TikTok, TikTok? Yeah, TikTok. Okay, okay, tick tick tiki tucky, okay, tiki tucky. Okay, yeah, then what is he doing? Yeah, we supposed to, you know, we supposed to be in the gym training. True, true, true. Man, that man, look here, man, boy, look here, bro. He gonna get cooked, bro, for 420. Look, fuck you, fuck the plane you flew in on, fuck them shoes, fuck the socks with the bell on it, fuck them cheap ass cigars. Fuck your yuck mouth teeth, fuck your hair piece, fuck your chocolate, fuck Guy Ritchie, fuck Prince William, fuck the Queen. This is America. My president is black and my Lambo is blue, nigga. Now get the fuck out my hotel room. And if I see you in the street, I'm slapping the shit out of you. Hey man, I hope I hope every, I hope everything work out, man. I hope everything works. Now I am the number one content. I'm tired of James the Poodle, Grim Reaper, whatever you want to call himself, ducking me. All right, I'm tired of man driving around town in eight Rolls Royces. He ain't fought nobody. I'm still in a bro hand. Hey, you know what, man? Hey, look, you know what, man? The crazy, the crazy, the crazy. This is the crazy part about it too. Crazy part. <laughs> Hey, well, if I'm walking in there, well, if I'm walking in there with that guy down, you know, uh, walking down, how about, yeah, man, yeah, man, hey, man, what's up, man? What, what's up, what, 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 listen, when I'm gonna get a chance to fight for the title? Who you think he is, DJ Quick? No, huh? No, I ain't Kick him free? I didn't say huh? that. Oh, you must be Jimmy Walker. Well, you ain't nothing. You don't deserve nothing. You don't get nothing. You get what I give you. I got a contract between me and you that say you do what I tell you to do. Therefore, shut the fuck. Don't say that. Don't speak to me. Don't look at me. I'll tell you something. Money. You know, I just said. Blue, if I raise up, gonna be trouble. 
Bubble. Bubble. I'm <laughs> hey, shout out to Rock Bond. Stephen A say Ryan is not acting like someone that wants to be a champion. No, Ryan, 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 Ryan fight for money, man. Right? No, I mean he's fighting. You know he's he's going he's cashing out. He's cashing out. He ain't. You know it is what it is. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you, man. Like you know, just like I said, Ryan got said we're gonna lose the tank. I said, look, tank gonna beat the dude, man. I mean, you know, regardless of what, I get it. I'm, I'm just call it the way I see it, and I'm gonna give you a boxing explanation why I can literally break this down from a stylistic standpoint. Why is he gonna lose this fight? You get what I'm saying? But um, um, his conditioning better be on point. Like, his conditioning better be on point. You get what I'm saying? But no matter what, I still love him. I still love you. <laughs> now, I don't know how true this is now, but something is telling me come April the 20th, the fight gonna look something like this. Man, I know they ain't who I think it is. Man, that's that nigga come on, man. Hey, you talking about talking all that shit. I tell you, I'ma get your ass, huh? Man, stop all that damn barking and take his ass with me. I told you, I'ma get you. I don't wanna hear that shit. I told you. You ain't no damn dog, boy. You a pussy cat. Hey, you tell me. I got my heart in your head. Hey, tell me. That's what I heard that. If I any listen, anybody want to smoke, I'ma send them goons y'all way. Hey, hey, who was you, pimp? Hey, what the hey, fuck? What, what the get your motherfucker. Hey. Hey, that nigga squeezing me, get this freak ass nigga up out of here. You didn't hear my nigga say back the fuck, fuck up, dude? I'm just saying, man. It is what it is. And anybody hating on my dog, Dr. Umar Johnson, we might take your chick. If I take your woman who never been out the United States a day in her life, if I take your woman who never been out the United States a day in her life, if I take your woman who never been out the United States a day in her life and take her with me, she spent a week in Africa with King Kong. Alicious. She's gonna spend a week in Africa with King Kong Alicious. Do you think she ever coming back home to you? Let, let's just be honest. If I take her on a ride with the prince, do you really think she's coming back home to you? I'm gonna drink to that. Next Negro who hate, I'm gonna snatch your chick. This Negro who hate, we're gonna snatch that chick. Now, now, now so I don't know how true this is now. Just let y'all know. Illuminati. Bohemian Grove, Illuminati, I heard Illuminati, they got a plan how this fight gonna play out. Shit, that nigga had me scared, but I held my own, fuck that. Well, uh, I guess it was a typo on the script. I fought a horrible fight like always, horrible camp like always. I guess it's my time to shine in this chapter of boxing. Well, uh, that's what I do. I'm a punching bag. I did my best tr trying to hit below the belt, trying to get disqualified. I was running all fight. He caught me. I ain't nine percent of the time. Or like a cheater on cheaters. Well, uh, could have made more money if I lost, so I really lost. We came down here to be zero and forty. We lost money on merch, paid for vinyl, Instagram ads, billboard, a t-shirt. Uh, we already shot a documentary on me being zero and forty. We in the hole. I'm hurt. Trainer hurt. He beat both our ass. We gotta get to the hospital before we transition. You got some calling all back though? Couldn't done enough on him. Please get to me. <laughs> He said, we got to hear him get to the hospital before we transition. <laughs> what about Rocky Marciano? Oh, there they go. There they go. Every time I start talking about boxing, a white man got to pull Rocky Marciano out their ass. That's the one. That's the one. Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano. Let me tell you something wonderful. Rocky Marciano was good. But compared to Joe Lewis, Rocky Marciano ain't shit. He beat Joe Lewis's ass. And that is true. He did beat Joe Lewis's ass. Now, that is true. I am ranked number one. One. That means I'm the best. But this bomb is taking the easy matches. Fight another bomb. You know what we're going to have to do, man? We're going to have to come together, man, and collectivize when it comes to boxing. Now, I run every kind of bitch, every kind of place, and I know one thing. When it comes down on you, you either collectivize or you run. Like a solitary rat. It's gonna be so fools right now. Yeah, yeah, nigga. 60, 40, 70, 30, 80, 20. Take whatever we give you. Nigga, my father the A side. See, who gonna pay? Who, my father the A side. Like, 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 all these goddamn online fantasies and promoters. Yeah, my father the A side, dog. See, what we gotta do then? We gotta try to figure it out now. See, now, let's see. 1.1 1 .1 equal 2. All right, 1.1. Okay, 2 plus 2 is 4. Divided by 2, make that 2. All right, goddamn. I'm trying to see what's up. All right, now we got, hold on. We, let me do the math. I'm gonna magic, 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 I
<laughs> These niggas be killing me or alive with this shit, dog. Um, I know you once said, hey, look, if we fight, it's going to be either 70 30, 80 20. Uh, what was that? Man, I was, I was, when Is I that posturing or what yeah. was that? At the, when did I say that? You know, that was. Yeah, I said that on on uh on my girl Instagram, yeah. what's called, but I was playing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, nobody's taking no 80, 20, 70, 30. Yeah, yeah, I was playing. I was like, because yeah. I was like, it's gonna be 60, 40. And I was like, yeah, he keep, he keep, you know, he keep playing crazy. It's gonna be 70, 30, yeah. or, six, or um, or 80, 20. 20 yeah. But yeah, I was, man, I was, I was playing. Like, I wouldn't, I wasn't serious yeah. about that, man. <laughs> Like people can't take jokes. Man, it is what it is, man. Sunshine when tanks go. I'll smack the shit out in front of everybody. Only dark times for you. I mean, just throw Haney's name in the hat. There is no fucking hat. Ain't no sunshine when tanks go. I don't play them type of games. Leonard Ellaby, why are you always talking about me? Did you fucking learn your lesson from that? With Ain't no sunshine when tanks go. I'll knock that motherfucker cold out. <laughs> Period. Only dark times for you. Ain't no hats to throw down in here, right? You fucking bitch. Ain't no sunshine when tanks go. You fucking idiot. Leonard Ellaby. Why are you always talking about me? It's hard to do. He say, boy, it never beats pre to this bitch. But we'll never know because they were talking about roads out of the street. 64 to 7, 30, 8 to 20. Take whatever we give you. True, true, <laughs> true. But y'all be forgetting all about Hey, y'all be forgetting all about that, boy. I get it. I get it. I get it. I am sick of hearing these bullshit Superman stories about the Wassa legendary Bruce Leroy catching bullets with his teeth. <laughs> Catches bullets with his teeth. Nigga, please. Shout out to everybody who called the show, man. Um, shout out to uh, who all called the show. Shout out to D Block four times. Hey, okay. Shout out to uh, shout out to Maintain from Queens. Hey, okay. Asherama, PG County. Hey, okay. Jamie from New York. Hey, okay. Rob from LA. Hey, okay. Drew from LA. Hey, okay. Adolfo, Sacktown. Hey, okay. Art from LA. Hey, okay. Shout out to the villain from South Minneapolis. Hey, okay. Leo from Ace Town. Hey, okay. Blue from Baltimore three times. Hey. Curtis from Long Beach, two times. Aye, okay. T Skills from Jersey, three times. Aye, okay. Toledo Seven from Cleveland. Aye, okay. KQKC, Shot Town, two times. Aye, okay. Coach Eddie from the ATL. Aye, okay. Jamie from New York. Aye, okay. JBN from Texas. Aye, okay. Mo Easy, Broward County. Aye, okay. Martin from Oak Town. Aye, okay. Um, Rose, my homeboy Rose, man, Roosevelt. Rose from um, Cross Fletcher. That's uh, that's a neighborhood in what? That's a neighborhood right here in Temple. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Keenan from North Kakalak. Aye, okay. Troy from Beemore. Aye, okay. And David from Memphis. Aye, okay. Let's get a caller's round of applause. <laughs> and shout out to the Tenderonis, man. Shout out to Mimi24, Sheila and Callie, the Duchess of Wisdom, Goddess, Passion for Beauty, Lisa Bells, Connie Stevenson. Shout out to Miss Connie Stevens, Jackie Hernandez, Food Revolution, Bless 365, Tila. Miss Parker, Nick Rich, Fee on the Tube, Amina, Key from Tennessee, Green Eyes P, Pauline, Bree, Ebony76, Felicia Williams, La Jessica, Carmen Serene, Kiara. Uh, shout out to our uh, summer in November, Elena, and Neighbor Day. Hey, let's get a sister's round of applause. Lisa Bells as well. And a shout out to everyone in the chat. Shout out to Keith Bulldogs. Hey, okay. uh, shout out to Elena. Hey, okay. The Nigerian Nightmare. Hey. Okay. L. Harvey. Hey, okay. Lockdown 305. Hey, okay. School of X Men. Hey, okay. Shout out to the Natural. Hey, okay. La Jessica. D Town Funk. Hey, okay. Lisa Bells. G5. Hey, okay. Stephen X. Uh, Knockdown 305. I said he said another one. Hey, okay. Jason Phillips. Legacy Mindset. Hey, okay. L. Harvey. Lit up. Hey, okay. Shout out to uh, Ahmed. Uh, who else we have? Ahmed. The Natural Goat. Hey, okay. Who else we have in the building? I'm seeing some of the same names. Uh, Chico Bato. Shout out to Jorge Vanasio. Hey, okay. Shout out to CJ Superman. Hey, okay. Shout out to uh, the inevitable D Block. Hey, okay. Salute, uh, salute to uh, Savage Surge. Hey, okay. Detail Funk. Hey, okay. Shout out to uh, Boxing Gyms. Hey, okay. New Country. Hey, okay. G Martinez. Hey, okay. 
Okay. Fast Car Eddie. Hey. Okay. Aguilar the Boxing. Hey. Okay. Shout out to CJ. Shout out to um, Wokey. Hey. Wokey okay. Woke. Shout out to uh, who else? Well, Wokey Woke. Lovely Miss Connie. It is what it is. Y'all know what time of TI is, man. Shout out to the Tender Lotus, PYTs, and Honey Dips. We running things. <laughs> And as we say, man, you ain't got to like it, but you better respect it. Nigga, when my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. All drill, y'all. Stop playing with my name. I ain't going to say it no more. Put some respect on my name. And shout out to everybody who want to plead the fifth. If you don't want to tell the truth about your favorite fighter, if you want to plead the fifth, go ahead and plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. Plead the fifth. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Hey man, shout out to shout out to everybody who put who bringing it back to big time boxing. Just don't, don't ever forget when I found you, you you were strong out on coke. When I found you, you was you was like a big house contemplating about killing yourself. So don't you ever forget who brought you to big time boxing. I drug you back. I brought you back. I provided food and put food on your table for your family to eat. And I'm doing it for the second time. So do, do, don't you ever forget that. Y'all know what time at T.I. is, man. It is what it is. I got a video dropping tomorrow, man. I see you guys, man, tomorrow, three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I look like I already got my show. We might, we, we gonna do a Tank Davis show tomorrow. We might as well do a Tank Davis show. Since y'all took this show and made it a Tank Davis show, I'm gonna come with a good thumbnail, a good title, and we just gonna talk about Tank Davis tomorrow. <laughs> We just talk about tank. See, that's what y'all did anyway. See you guys tomorrow, three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. You know my motto. Don't meet me there. Beat me there. Page. Come in, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go. Come on.